Let's see if this thing will focus. I don't know that it will. Zoop. Focus on me. Yay. I'm filming this on a potato. A potato flew around my room when you came through, or whatever it's called. It's already streaming and live. Okay. That's interesting. They used to wait for me to say go first, but I guess they don't give a fuck. I just realized I don't have my headphones. And I don't got my fucking coffee. So if you'll excuse me. Usually I was going to get my fucking coffee in a minute because, like, it takes a minute for the stream to usually unfuck itself. But surprisingly, it seems to be running pretty decent. We got a couple of people in the stream so far. We got uh, Jurassic Liger. Okay, well, Liger. Liger as a cat uh, is a hybrid that would have existed even in the Jurassic period. Tigers didn't. All right, anyway. Uh, says, hello, Tolstoy. Jake Bartell says, good morning, Tolstoy. It's the afternoon where I'm at. And uh, the Eastern Seaboard of America is all that matters. The Omni Seal says, Papa Tolstoy, hello. Hello, good Tolstoy children. Allow me to grab my headphones. Some coffee. I had one of those bang energy drinks this morning. God damn. <laughs> Woo. All right, let me get some coffee. I don't have any really anything to do today, so we should try to have fun with this one. I'll try to keep this one up as long as I can. As long as you guys ask weird questions. It's easier to keep it going when I'm drunk, but at the same time, it's also not as easier to keep it going when I'm drunk. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. I like to be able to hear myself talk, because that way I can know if I'm making good ASMR. Uh. <laughs> plug it in, plug it in. All right, now I can hear myself. Now I can hear my squeeze. Is this, can I, I think I need to turn this up. I don't think this thing is really, let's see if I can uh, pump up the volume. Dance, dance, dance. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Dance, dance. I don't know if that's working or not. Probably not. Okay, well, or I guess I wouldn't be able to hear the, the increase in volume. Well, it's my first day off. Uh, I've been working 10-hour uh, shifts every day for seven fucking days. Oh, fuck, I forgot that I gotta, like, turn in homework, too. Fuck. Well, it is 12.22 where I'm at, so I can do that later. Uh, had a pretty good workout this morning chest and tries, lightweight high rep day. Eh, my strength is diminishing a little bit because I am fasting on the days that I work, like I said, seven days in a row, but I'm down to a lean 155, so I'm pretty happy about that. That's essentially what I was before they started the shutdowns, and now I'm hearing some communist, I mean, people talking about, <laughs> people, no, they're not, uh, talking about shutdowns again. Oh boy, if I got some shutdowns for you, I mean, I'm gonna shut you down. Shut it down! Shut it down. And speaking of which, we have somebody in the chat named a Jew one. Well, and we, you know, I, we expected them in the stream. So, uh, <laughs> fuck off. There is nothing anti-Semitic about what I've said. There are people I know who are Jewish who show up to my fucking stream. So sh shut the fuck up. We get sick of Bliat here. Says let's fucking go. Alpha Bravo Delta Charlie Echo Fox Rock Oh Hotel India Julia Kilo Lima. Let's go go go. Uh, Jurassic Liger says, I hate the Midwest, even if I live there. Yeah, I've heard a lot about the Midwest, so. Except for Colorado, it's fucking beautiful, but of course it's a rich man's paradise now. It's uh, the new base for the elites. Uh, uh-oh, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain stream smoothing, stream, smooth streaming. So everything was smooth until I went Jones, until I talked about the elites. Interesting. God, I'm getting so fucking tired of this censorship. I wonder if there's, like, something that, like, a, you know, like, a rope could do to help solve this. Uh, Jake Bartell says, especially Iowa. Kane the Warlock says, hey, what's up? Can't be on long because I got to work in a bit. Hey, Kane. 
How's the Northeast going? Lincoln's here. He says, my boy, Crazy T. I am indeed Crazy T. Mm. Delicious fucking caffeine. A Jew one says, nothing wrong with the shut, sh shut down. I got a home gym. Okay, well, we're not all, you know, rich merchants that can afford home gyms, okay? I live in a slumbox apartment, all right? Slumbox millionaire. Um... Kane the Warlock says, still smooth on my end. Ah, well, so it's probably in uh, Jurassic Liger 15 says, holy shit, Minecraft? Yeah, I played a lot of Minecraft. This is actually my brother. He's an autistic, and so he saw this in, like, a bookstore or some shit like that, Walmart, and he, you know, loves references and whatnot. So he saw it, and he decided, yeah, I'll buy this, and then I just kind of adopted it, you know. I needed a coffee cup. I like to keep my coffee cup and my Kratom cup separate, you know, so that that way when I want to get uh, schwacked, I got the Kratom, and then when I want to get on it, I got the coffee, and neither neither shall the two meet. It's better this way. Sukabliat says, by the way, congrats on the new GAT. Indeed, thank you. Um, I'm shooting like a handicapped child right now. I, I probably, you know what? I shouldn't show this because it's super fucking embarrassing, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get you the I'm gonna get you the target that I shot at. I don't know, I shouldn't... Ugh, fuck. So, I want to preface this by saying that I was using a bunch of really weird... Uh, really weird shooting advice that I had gotten from a bunch. I think I just confused myself on what it was I was actually supposed to do. Forgotten about breathing. I never really was good at that. Um, and I don't know why I would demonstrate this on the actual gun um, while it's unloaded and whatnot. But uh, what I've been told is that uh, YouTube, well, uh, a Jew one could probably tell you. He he probably knows about what YouTube does. He probably gets the monthly, the the Malak monthly. He gets the <laughs> He gets the letter. Um, I've heard that if you're streaming and the algorithm detects the outline of a gun, it's game over. They'll just turn you off. So uh, while it's really fun on stream to show off your cool stuff, uh, specifically when it's completely safe, it's unloaded, I own it, it's registered to me, there's nothing un-American about it, um, you got to remember that our tech overlords say, you know, Moloch said, sorry guys, bells above and bail. You know how it is. They worship them. They should all be guests. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, Long story short, I, th I think what I was doing was is uh, I was confusing myself and, and I thought that I was supposed to stick my finger like as far into the trigger guard as possible and really get like a bare fist around the frame of the gun. And I think that was causing me to jerk it. But either way, at about uh, 20 yards, <laughs> this is what we're looking at. Um, I mean, I hit the paper most of the time. If it was a human-sized target, would, I mean, I can definitely score chest shots. Not fucking good. But um, I'm desperate to try again, but right now, uh, 20, uh, 9mm is 40 bucks a box, so. Yeah, this stream is probably going to end up having to get taken down. Um, so, I, I plan to go tomorrow. I tried to get footage of the gun range, by the way. Uh, it's a cool, I thought it's a rifle range, too, but it was a little bit chaotic. It was really stuffed in there, and... There were a lot of people who were waiting to get into a booth, and I did not feel like being the dude who films himself on his cell phone, specifically with really poor shooting, would be a very popular thing to be. So I kind of like, you know, I kind of put that shit away for now. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get you actual footage in the future. And like I said, I hope I have more time to train in the future. But ironically, the thing that I came away with is that I really like my revolver. I feel as though the thirty eight specials have a lower recoil through that massive Dirty Harry gun, and also have more stopping power than a 9mm. So I I kind of feel dumb for buying it now. But I have to remember that the philosophy of use for it was essentially crowd control. Because we got that stuff coming up. And I might be live streaming during that stuff. We'll see. We'll see what goes down that night. Um, a Jew one says, my bad, I forgot you all. You are all poors that don't control the banks and media. We call, can't have, we all can't have home gyms. And he says that he loves Glocks. Uh, I love my guns like I like my women from Austria and boxy as fuck. Fair enough. That that works for me, man. Lincoln says, funnily enough, I recently got a job at a bookstore myself. I have never felt more at home and annoyed by a job at the same time, lol. 
I wish I could know what it's like to feel at home at a job, but unfortunately I do not. Jurassic Liger 15 says, Why do I prefer Glock 19 handguns over H&K USP match? Because the match is fucking huge and expensive. Yeah, H&K is super expensive, and honestly, I while I used to like the USP because of its relation to um, Metal Gear Solid, it's honestly just not a very attractive gun. I find the Glock to be very attractive for a semi-automatic. I mean, obviously the most beautiful guns are revolvers, but if you're going to go semi-automatic, I say go Glock, but that's just me. I don't really have a lot of, a lot of experience with them anyway, so what the fuck should I know? Uh, I just prefer, I like the way that they look. Uh, Aju1 says, let me text my cousin Ishmael, I, you spelled that wrong, to let you show the gun on stream. Yeah, yeah, if you could, if you could actually contact, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the headquarters, you know, in Tel Aviv. Um, Aju1 says, uh, oh, Sick of Liat says, aim small, miss small. What the fuck does that mean? That sounds like you, like, made up some weird, you know, some weird stuff. That sounds like you, that's like in Rocky where, like, uh, one of the training montages, he's, like, doing some exercise and there's, like, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Apollo's trainer who's now training him is, like, chanting, no pain, no pain. And I'm just like, does he think it's not painful? Like, what does that mean, no pain? I don't understand. Uh, Sir Blumpkin says, do you think college is a waste of time? Yes. Over fucking waste of time? For who? For you, yes. For the elites, no. It is a great little indoctrination center where your poor little brain will be turned to mush and you will be demoralized and likely accused of being a rapist depending on the color of your skin and how much penis you have. So just bear that in mind. But you know what I like more than all of these guns? These 78, I can't remember what my bookshelf is. These 78 bookshelves that I got installed for my 5,000 new books. Because it's not about the guns. It's about knowledge. You see, I have uh, five mentors who each mentored me. I don't know. I, I like Ephemeral Riff, if you ever get a chance to check him out. Uh, look at his, uh, he made a parody of Ty Lopez, and it's an ASMR parody, and it's fan-fucking-tastic. Um, it's like, it's the weirdest shit. Hey, Ephemeral Rift is a weird motherfucker. He's like, ta he's getting some like scratch touch tappings out of, uh, out of a bunch of like children's books. And he's like reviewing them and giving them like quasi intellectual meaning that they really don't have. Like he's like, this is a uh, socks on Fox and it's a, uh, it's a story about, you know, it's a story about a, a fox who's being encumbered by material possessions and a, and then, like, he just gets to one that he can't think of anything stupid to make up for, like, you know, green eggs and ham. And he just randomly goes, so it's like when Nietzsche said, when Nietzsche said that, you know, God is dead. And I'm just like, really? Is that what that book's about? I didn't know. I did not know. Sir Blumpkin says, also, what's your worst, most expensive impulse buy? Oof. That's a good question, actually. Um, probably the AK. Uh, I mean, I did do research on it, and a lot of people said that the Century Arms was not a bad, was not a bad company. I don't know. I then I started seeing as soon as I got it, I started seeing a bunch of shit on the internet about how it's bad. I don't know why that shit didn't pull up when I was in the store doing research on it, but I wanted an AK. It was six hundred and fifty bucks. I got five hundred for the AR, which personally I do not care for. Although I have some five five six left over, and I'm thinking about just like going to a gun store and waiting for someone to ask for five five six because the whole state is out, and then trading them five five six for the money to buy nine mm. So there's that. Um, <laughs> a Jew one says, "Go to college, of course, go to college." Jurassic Liger says, "Do you think that Dark Phoenix is a bad movie that was either hyped too much or poorly advertised?" Isn't that the first of all? All of the modern X Men movies are garbage. Only the first two were good. But isn't that the one with Jennifer Lawrence or something like that? And she says something about you should have called it the X Woman because we have the powers. So yeah, it's garbage. I don't give a fuck about it. Um, a Jew one says people who think college is a waste are dumb. I need a new Tesla. I need you to take out loans. Exactly. God damn, you're just gonna sit here and troll the whole fucking chat, aren't you? I mean, what am I supposed to say? Like. Oh, I, I guess I'm still held responsible, aren't I? If I myself do not hate on, do not remove, uh, you know, troublesome commenters, then it's as though I left the comment. That doesn't sound right, but then again, nothing does. It's 2020, so, like, what are you going to do about it? 
Mr. Quackism says, Julia Jav Google. Who? What? Sicko Bliat says, um, if you aim at something like a s button on a shirt, you may miss the button, but you might hit the shirt. Hence the phrase, aim small, miss small. Uh, all right. Well, that's still pretty fucking bad for this grouping is god awful for 20 yards, dude. I mean, the fact that I couldn't bullseye it with either gun, because that's both revolver and 9mm. I have no idea. I guess, like I said, I don't know what made me... Back when I first started shooting rifles, I had a problem where I would let the rifle lean to the left, and some dude corrected me by saying something along the lines of... What did he say? Put your finger all the way through. Maybe that's only for fucking rifles. Yeah, that might be it. It's because I know one of them you're supposed to squeeze and one of them you're supposed to pull. I think you're supposed to pull a pistol trigger, hence use only the first link of your finger and pull back, and for rifles you're supposed to squeeze all the way. But I, I don't know if that's really... I don't know if that's true or not, so... Kane the Warlock says, um, gotta head out. Hopefully I can watch the stream later. Yeah, man. Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully I'll keep it up. We'll see. You know, the terrible thing is, is I, I, need to, I need to recline. The terrible thing is, is that, like, the weather was looking like absolute dog shit. We had, like, wind and tornado warnings until, like, 7 p.m., and now it's, like, bright outside. I could have gone for a hike. I really should be spending my time either doing my homework or, um, <clears throat> or reading books. Um, I like to balance out all of my physical training with mental training. And right now I'm reading a book about the, um... The Japanese uh, death camps, or the POW camps, they put the Americans in in the Philippines, and I'm also reading about Hitler's rise to power. So, those two things, always fun. Always fun to learn about history. History is the best thing to read about, all the time, always. Churchill Batia says, times are getting hard, boy, money is getting scarce. And he has, like, notes around it, so I don't know if that's, like, lyrics from a song, but I haven't heard that song. Jurassic Liger 15 says, uh, at Sir Blumpkin, uh, I, bought several ex I bought several expensive shit. Just one, apparently. And I hate that I impulse buy so fucking much. Yes. Uh, Review Tech USA says, The Legend is live streaming. Yes. It's Venom Snake is coming back to... I haven't done a lot of... I haven't been doing a lot of videos. Um, I really hate doing these live streams. Um, once in a while would be okay. The fact that it's like kind of my bread and butter now, I think is kind of dog shit. I would love to invest in like you know new camera equipment and take you out to parks and... I do some action figure reviews and just be free, but there's so many complications. One, are we still? Can we post action figure reviews? Like, what happened? Did the Coppa apocalypse happen, or is that over with? Or I, I don't know any of the rules anymore. YouTube is getting worse by the goddamn day. Um, money is. I gotta start. I gotta save money. The boogaloo might be happening, like the on Wednesday. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. I take my coffee black. Like my dick. Just kidding. My dick's white. Um, so I hate the fact that, like, I've been live streaming my ass off. Uh, I, I'm actually really regretful uh, about, and specifically the fact that I get really sloppy drunk on a lot of them. I really hate that, but it kind of helps me, it kind of helps me keep my head in the game when I have, like, a little bit of a buzz going on. I mean, it's... It's kind of obvious that I like substances. Like, at this point, like, I've had enough of different substances that I'm just like, yeah, I, I like being high, you know? And uh, But the problem is a time and place for everything. It's like, you know, don't do cocaine before going to your grandfather's funeral or some shit like that. And uh, and really, I just got to cut all ties with alcohol because alcohol is a, uh, alcohol's a bitch. Not one of the nicer drugs out there, I assure you. <sighs> but I also do too much Kratom anyway. <sighs> This is interesting. So Sir Blumpkin says, dude, what's your thoughts on the no fap movement? No comment. I literally, I don't know. Um, I actually kind of like the fact that there is a rise in anti-porn mentality. Uh, I never liked porn. I mean, okay, that comes off as, as weird. Don't get me wrong. Everybody likes titillation. And yeah, although I wasn't like a kid, I didn't grow up with an internet connection, really. I didn't get like really onto the internet until I was like 13, 14, but... Still looked up pictures of, you know, I still found, you know, websites with women taking their damn clothes off. Like, let's not be... But, like, it wasn't to the degeneracy that it is today. 
you know, you, you we, I mean, if you really want to get real, we all log in to, like, those places. And for whatever reason, much like YouTube, they, they keep pushing this agenda. It's, it's always, and it always says suggestion for you. And I'm all like, bitch, you don't know me because I'm using, um, I'm, you, I, you don't have cookies on me because I have protection against that. You know, so, and, and I definitely have not been looking up, you know, uh, fucking, um, it's usually some kind of incest, which I'm just like, what the fuck? Why, I, I, I doubt that that's the most demanded thing. That it just everybody, I'm sure someone out there has that fetish. Fuck, man. I'm sure somebody out there really wanted to bone their sister. But it's not everybody. Fuck, man. You know? And then, like, the other one, obviously, is this cuckold shit. And, like, it's, it, you see a lot of it, and then, of course, there's this whole thing underneath that... That's like, for whatever reason, within like this this fetishization of dudes fucking your wife or whatever. Which somebody tried to bring that up to me once because we were having a discussion about whether or not you would do. Like, I, you can pretty much. I'm I'm on. I wear everything on my sleeve. Like everyone who knows me knows that I'm like the most vanilla motherfucker. Like I'm into that fetish where a dude puts his penis in a woman's vagina. Yeah, it's for procreation, motherfuckers. The Mormons love me. All the Mormon bitches beg to take off their space underwear for Big Papa T. I wish. Um, but they asked if I would ever do a menage a trois um, group of friends and basically I was just like look if I did it it would have to be two dudes and a chick like me another dude and a chick then they asked me to explain myself and I was just like if it's like the Native American thing of using the whole animal like you know you gotta use its bones for stuff and you can't just like let it waste it's like when two chicks gang up on a guy it's just like alright but there's like that's six holes for one dick. That's just too many holes per dick. I, you gotta have more dick per holes. I, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just, I just believe in equity. But that was about as weird as I get. That's like the weirdest question that I've ever had to deal with. And um, so somebody basically was like, oh, I, I figured it was because you, you would want the competition because men are naturally competitive. And I, I never thought about that angle, but I was like, eh, I don't know, man. Talking to another friend of mine. And the other friend of mine, uh, he was talking to me about some crazy chick he was seeing, and he's like, yeah, I better be careful, though, because she has an impregnation fetish. And for whatever reason, deep in my bones, I just answered, because I'm pretty honest and open about everything. I was like, hot. And I thought about it. I was like, bro, you, you don't think any fetishes are hot. What's wrong? Like, what's, wh what, what about this? And I thought about it for like 30 seconds. I was like, because impregnation is not a fucking fetish. The, the point of putting your dick in the vagine is to have babies. Like, God damn, this isn't, this shouldn't be where we are. But anyway. Within that whole fetishization of other dudes fucking your wife or your girlfriend or whatever, it's like there's this big subset where a bunch of them want the dude to be, like, black. All right, man, look, I ain't here to judge nobody, and I guess if nobody gets hurt, you do your fucking thing, but, like, kind of feel bad for black dudes on this one. I'm not even fucking kidding, man. It's like, this is just my gut feeling about this. Like, do they like being fetishized by their race? It, that seems kind of racist. It's, it's like is the only thing that you're down for. It's just like, and, and there's actually a fucking white guy example of this, which I read a, um, watched a whole line of videos of white dudes living in Japan, and they're like, yeah, you can get laid 18 ways to Sunday, but the Japanese girls will never stay with you. You're never gonna have a sta stable relationship. You're the fun guy that they just, and he's like, for pussy hounds, it's great, but for normal dudes, it gets a little demoralizing when you kind of realize that they just want to see if the, what they had heard, you know, what they had uh, heard in the girls' rot locker room, you know, uh, about Gaijin having the big penis ooh, whether or not that's true. And I just feel like, yeah, if, if somebody was, like, fetishizing me, that'd be kind of weird. I've, I've had that same thought about, like, this whole, you know, Afrocentrist movement where, you know, everything is about black power or whatever. Uh, a lot of stuff is about, you know, being proud of being, you know, a person of color or whatever, which is fucking retarded. I hate that phrase. It's another way of saying colored people. Jesus, tap dancing Christ, I hate all of you. Um, not colored people. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this stream's going down. We're going to have to... Yeah, we're taking this fucking stream down. But anyway, my point being that if somebody were to pander to me in that exact same way, you know, like, what? what's the new... Oh, yeah, Beyonce let the, made a video called, like, Black is Power or some shit like that. The Power of Black or some shit like that. Bro, if they released a thing called The Power of White, one, America would shriek, but even if they fucking didn't, I, I don't think I would want to watch it, bro. Doesn't that feel weird and syncop um, sycophantic? And if a girl was just like, yeah, just just give me that, that white dick of yours, boy, you know, it, it would feel fucking weird. And I'd be like, D well, I mean, do you like other parts of me? I mean, like, check check out my hair. It's like perfect anime hair. No, no, just, yeah, just just your just your fucking white, white guy dick. 
well, I, you know, I mean, I think these biceps are pretty. No, 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 just, just your dick. You know, baby, I'm, I'm more than a dick though. Like for real, like I ain't trying to be weird or funny or nothing, but right? You see this shit, and they, and they, and they try to bring it onto websites we'll never talk about. It, but they always talk about that, and I'm just like, do, do black people feel weird about that? Like, wouldn't you? I mean, I know you're getting laid, but at the same time, like, don't you feel weird if it's just like a couple just like talking about your dick, like just your dick? You know what I mean? Like. She doesn't care about, like, any other feature or, like, the fact that you're, like, really good at, like, you know, uh, whatever, like, BMX or or that you, you can play the guitar. Like, no, fucking, yeah, just your dick. It's fucking weird. Everything is fucking weird. And, again, that, that also links into, like, yeah, if they made some weird shit pandering to me as a white guy that was just like, yeah, you're great because of your skin color, I'd be kind of weirded out. I mean, imagine, like, Imagine being confronted by, like, you know, some weird white supremacist group, and they're like, join us because you're a fellow white person because you you are white. Like, still sounds like a fucking cult. Sounds like a goddamn cult. And I've, I've dealt with cults, man. I was literally... A, a cult tried to indoctrinate me, and they did these weird... They did a weird ritual that I got invited to where they seized up and they spoke in tongues, and they did the... And uh, they did all that, and then in the end they were like, we need to use our psychic, spiritual god powers to to stuff, and we're going to lay hands on you. And I'm like, mm, all right then. And they touched me, and they went, Wah! they didn't really do that, but I mean, fucking close. And they were like, um, God is telling me that you are going to play a major part in the end of days. And I was like, interesting, God's telling you everything that you think that I want to hear so I'm going to be conned into being part of your weird Branch Davidian shit. Is that is that what it is? I didn't say that shit. But then as I was leaving, I remember one of the cultists confronted me, and what did she say? Something about my mom's coat. And she's like, I know I know that you're... I noticed you, your mom has a red coat. What does that make you think of? And I was like, of Santa Claus. Because I like Santa Claus. And she's like, no. It makes you think of the blood of Christ. And I, that was the only time I got real with them. And I was like, no, lady, I think of Santa Claus. God bless you. Goodbye. And I just, like, walked out of that fucking psycho shit. So, uh, what do I think about the anti-fat movement? I don't know, man. I don't actually think there's anything fucking wrong with porn or being titillated. I don't think there's anything wrong with dudes jerking off. In fact, if you don't, you're going to have prostate cancer. I don't even think, scientists don't even think that it actually lowers your testosterone. You don't gain more testosterone by not jerking off, dude. I, I don't think that's fucking real. I think it's kind of a cult. But it's, if it lets them believe in some form of self, what's the word, of self, b building a better version of you, self-improvement, fine. If it helps them get sober in a way, fine. If it leads them down the road to lifting weights, fine. Or reading books or finishing college or whatever it is that's important to them, fine. Because there's definitely going to be some people who are addicted to porn. See Terry Crews. Terry the motherfucking man Crews. I don't just like him because he's black. Like, there you go. We're going to throw that the fuck out there. Like, I, I don't think like, oh yeah, must like Terry Crews. Like, no, it's because he's a really cool dude and he pisses off Hollywood and I love him for it. He was sexually assaulted. He was sexually harassed by a, I believe he was a Jewish producer who was a gay man, and he said, you're going to do stuff with me or you won't be in the next Incredibles, Infendables, Defendables, Expendables, whatever. Terry Crews sued him, and the judge just, this is where our society's at with men, the judge just went, oh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Cruz. No no one ever sexually assaults men. Okay. Yeah, man. Fuck you. And Terry Crews basically wore a shirt that says porn kills love, and he talks about his problems struggling with porn, so if you got a problem with it, Definitely the no fat moves for you. So that's a little bit like asking, how do you feel about AA? Like, well, AA is different because I don't think AA preaches that all alcohol is evil. I think AA preaches that there are just certain people who are going to be addicted to it and you need to find a way to cope. So AA for those people, no fat for the people who literally can't get anything done and they can just jack off like for infant, you know, whatever. Or maybe people who have warped their sexuality with way too many weird ass fetishes. Maybe they're fucking racist now because they've watched too much, like, you know, interracial cuckolding or some shit like that. I'm not even, I'm not even fucking trying to be funny. I'm being for real. Every time I see it, I'm just like, that would feel weird. That would feel fucking weird. If it was like a Japanese couple who was like, yeah, you want to fuck my wife? One, that's weird. No. Probably wouldn't do that. I, I'm just afraid that the dude would halfway through get regrets and then try to fight my ass. And it's like, I'm naked though. And I'm in his house. I don't know this dude doesn't have a knife or a gun. What the fuck, man? I don't think I'm weird for thinking these up, but if the entire time I'm fucking him, they were like, yeah, yeah, you, you like that. You like that Gaijin's dick because he's a Gaijin because he's got round eyes. Except for, for me, they wouldn't. They'd be like, 
Are you part native? I was like, just shut up, shut up, just shut up. Just go with the fantasy, I guess. Or don't, because it's fucking creepy. God damn. Ah, <sighs> power of coffee and bang energy drinks. <laughs> okay, now there's probably like a bunch of comments, and uh, I've probably been reported to the Thought Police 19 times. You are being banned. Because I said I didn't like racism and cuckold porn? What? <laughs> like, you are being banned forever. Um, Kane the Warlock says, wait, Review Tech USA? What? Does Review Tech USA... Is that he, is he a big guy? Is that somebody... Because I know that, um, you know, uh, um, Cutlery Lover watches my shit. I've messaged him before. We we know each other. He's told me some personal stuff. We're, we're cool. He actually invited me to come stay at his place in, in uh, whatever. So is Review Tech USA a big a big one? Maybe I can... Can I check out his channel? Can I click on him? Yeah, thanks, YouTube. I can't, I can't fucking click on... <sighs> If I open up, I'm not gonna open up. Oh, wait a minute. I can look at it on my mobile device. Yata, yata, yata. Let's see. Let's see what Review Tech USA looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Okay. Three point six thousand nine hundred and fifty k fucking subscribers, and he watches my dumbass. That's hysterical. I love it. Thanks for giving me the bump, man. I'm sorry that I talk about, you know, cuckold porn and stuff, but it's just, it was on my chest, man. It's fucking weird! You know it is! God damn. Um, Nerd Room Collectible says, Holy shit, the history deepens. It was so long ago, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. Metal Doomer says, Wow, same here. Hungry and Hungover says, Why did you take away all your old action figure reviews? I missed the Kill Bill one. Because the federal government decided to do shit because Karen squee. It's what they do. Until we and us, Karen, we will be dealing with their shit for, for fucking ever. They are the ruiners of all that is good. Anyway, next. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Nerd Room Collectible says, wait, is Review Tech USA actually here? Does he actually watch YouTube, uh, watch Tolstoy and Review Tech? Says, I remember watching him back in 2007. Again, we're very sorry that you're here. Um, we apologize for the low-quality entertainment. Sir Bumpkin says, yes, more plastic crap. Again, I don't know if I can publish that. I thought about just publishing it on my Patreon behind, like, a tiny paywall of a dollar because I figured, one, that could generate money for some plastic crap, pay me back for, like, the $30 action figure. Two, there really ain't no money action figures getting made. Nothing real good. I really searched Amazon, buddy. It's hard. It's hard out there. This, the ring ain't sweet. Uh... <laughs> Review Tech USA says, just say big tits randomly in the video and you'll dodge Kappa. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because they were talking about coming after video game reviews, and a lot of these video games were rated M for Mature, but, I mean, it's the federal government. Look, bro, the ATF just recently released a fucking statement saying, uh, pistols aren't pistols, and also, uh, you know, uh, I talked to witch doctor, the witch doctor said to me, he said, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ee, ee, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. That's what it's like talking to the ATF. It's just whatever that comes out of their mouths after they rip off of the crack pipe. So, I don't trust the Fed not to fuck me, and I'm not going into a federal court in Raleigh, North Carolina, to show a judge episodes of the Tolstoy show where I talk about, like, you know, big titty goth girlfriends giving you a blowjob and cuckold porn and then saying, but there's a, an action figure in there and having a 98-year-old judge with his fucking, his glasses go, oh, that's not of white Jesus, and then decide to damn me to a 40000 fucking dollar fine because he's an asshole. So, I, you guys are like, stick your dick in a crocodile's mouth. How will you fucking do it then? You get fucked by the Fed, man. <laughs> Review Tech USA says, I get stoned in mine. Medical marijuana for the win. Nah, I'm not big on the wacky tobacco, man. It's like a confusion plant. It's literally just like, would you like to be confused? I have never felt positive on it. Now, other plants, when turned into a powder and treated correctly, and mixed with tequila. Oh, God. Uh, Metal Doomer says, uh, what's your opinion on Glocks? That they're good? I just bought one. It's pretty good. Um, I, I've heard that the, the Gen 5 has a weird trigger, and yeah, might be still getting used to that. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Sokobliat says, I just want some tomboy cowgirl elves, for God's sake. 
That's kind of degenerate, but I, I kind of feel what you're saying. Not the elf part, but tomboys and a cowgirl? Yeah, I know about that. No, I don't. I know about wanting that. I don't know about... Well, actually, yeah, it's, I forgot. What's-her-face was... Uh, oh, yeah, she rode championship horses. She rode these nuts! Um, fucking, I, some dude I just found out who hit me up on Facebook, uh, apparently a longtime fan of mine, is like, I just moved to North Carolina because of the military. I moved from Frederick, Maryland. I was like, no way, did you know a slut named Doot? And he's like, that, that's a couple of people for me. I know a couple girls named Doot, and uh, they're sluts. And I'm just like, man, small world. Small fucking world. And I looked her up on um, Facebook because I stalked her Facebook because I don't give a fuck. And um, she had some long poem written about how, you know, as a man, you can never really own her because you could just love her, but you can't own her because she is like a cat in the dark, and then she is the darkness. And I'm like, bitch, listen here. You're 30 years old. You ran out of road. Quit. Just like, knock it. Just, 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 just fucking just give up. Just die with some fucking dignity. You know what I mean? You're dragging this shit out. God damn, just admit that you made a long series of mistakes. You could have been sucking his dick every night, and then, you know, lightly, hey, man, I'm better than nothing, because now you got not. Okay, I should probably stop here. I ain't angry. I'm angry. Uh, Sukabliat says, uh, oh, yeah. Um, Asako says, lol. Jurassic Liger says, uh, my opinion on Glock is that the 17 is simple, the 18 is cool, the 18 is illegal for me to own, but the 19 is my fanboy fave. Hey, same here. That's what I chose. Uh, Nerd Room Collectible says, Porn is just extremely toxic and destructive to watch because the way the world has gone, people, primarily dudes, have tried to replace sex and actual romance with it, to be honest. Okay, but we're not... <laughs> oh, you're ripping open that scab! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this then. So it's the guy's fault? Please explain. Ain't the dude's fault. Heck no. Yeah, well, they've tried to replace it with sex and romance because uh, the world took that away because we're living under the largest psychological operation of all fucking time. We are living in the invisible war. We are living through the shit that Paul, the apostle, wrote about in Romans when he says, uh, it is not a war of flesh and blood that we wrestle, but against principalities, evil spiritual darkness, and though evil spirits in this time of present darkness. All right? It's an invisible war. It's the info wars, all right? Fuck, man. He writes, um, I only know because I know Kua. Nakua. I, maybe he meant I only know because I know, but he misspelled it. Hungry and Hungover says, what the fuck, lol? Go into more detail about the cult story. How did that all come together? Laugh my ass off. The thought of you being indoctrinated is hilarious. I wasn't indoctrinated. My mother wanted to. I was going towards the, the atheistic angsty phase, as, as you do, as you do as a child. And my mother wanted to correct that. And the neighbor girl had a cult, sorry, a church. That was a cult, and uh, they're just, I mean, you know a cult when you see a fucking cult, man. It's like the Branch Davidians claim that they were Christian, but brah, no. And um, they were doing some festival called The Washing, like you're washing yourself with the Holy Spirit. And my mom was all like, so would you want to go to that, thinking that, by the way, my mom had connections. Our church was pretty powerful. Um, I, I have a weird church. It's hard to explain without going into detail and outing myself, but... Long story short, she almost set it up once that Ravi Zacharias was going to call me. Uh, and he's a great man. And I Is he dead? He's not dead. He's alive, I think. Did he pass? I really hope he didn't. I listened to a lot of his sermons when I was a kid. I think he's one of the most great spiritual teachers of our time, even if you aren't a Christian. However, what I was going through besides the atheism was also just doubt about reality because ultimately all of this shit about sex and actual romance, as Nerd Room Collectibles will put it, would put it, was just completely dashed on the rocks because I got my first taste of reality and slowly but surely the reality of the femi feminism was setting in. And as a young man, you're realizing that all of your hopes and dreams, man, back then I was a cream puff, man. When I was 19, the realization that you'll never be happy really hit hard. And now it's like that meme with the Chad face saying, I know, to the other Chad face. It's like, you know that we're going to die unhappy. You know that this is going to end in a civil war. You know that it's never going to be anything other than screaming agony. It's like, I know. Now it's some Marcus Aurelius level shit where it's like, live a good life and worry not what bitches think. For when you die, these bitches must judge you on your good life. If they do not judge you on your good life, these bitches were not to be, um, were not to be simped. And if when you die, there are no bitches, you lived a good life. Nah! You know, you, once you ex take the Buddhist pill, things start fucking getting better. Which is fucking ironic that my mom was all like, he's just so depressed if we just, if we just use more Christianity. 
And ironically, that drove me farther away from Jesus. You take the Buddhist pill, and then you come right back to Jesus. And you're just like, so you were a reformation of Judaism, and the modern-day church is a replication of Judaism. And he's like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Just making sure, like, your daily reminder that if you were truly following in the footsteps of a carpenter, you would sell all your fucking worldly possessions, shave your head, wear robes, go around with a beggar bowl, and tell people the good news about Jesus Christ. That's it. That's what you would do. And technically, I have to admit, my church tried to do that as best they could, but ultimately, a bunch of rich Democrat hippies from Annapolis kind of just kind of attached themselves. And... So, long story short, my mom was trying to cure the atheism. Trying to pray that gay away, son. Uh, Mike the electric bends pants. Mike 20 amps of the nipple clamps pants. And we get there, and they seem like okay people, and they start praying, and I'm like, eh, that's fine. And all of a sudden, they're just all like, ah! And they're just, you know, doing the tongues. And man, there's two types of churches, man. There's tongue churches, and then there's churches that don't do tongues. Can you guess what fucking kind of church I was from? Fuck, man. And they did the rock a lock a dog a lock a frog a lock a dog a. Ooh, a lock a dog a dog a lock a. And um, one kid fell out of his chair and started vibrating on the floor. Man, they were doing the seizures. So then after that, they were like, "Now it's time to read your mail." And this is where the power of Jesus Christ. Gives us the ability to psychically communicate with the Holy Spirit and your soul. Your soul! And uh, I've had too much coffee. This is pretty great, actually. And um, maybe you don't need to get drunk to do a good stream. And um, they were laying hands on middle-aged women and saying, And Jesus just wants you to know that you're still beautiful. And that was where... They, I was pretty red-pilled at 19, actually. And just like, even then, I was all like, Mm-hmm. This is some coal reading shit. They're just telling these people exactly what they want to know. And they take a, a meek little skinny ass 100 pound me, put me, because I was 100 pounds back then, like I was really 130, um, put me in the chair, laid the hands on me, and they said, God says you're going to be a great, going to play a great part in the end of days. And I was like, fantastic. And then I'm trying to inch out of there, and they're just all like, what color is your mom's jacket? And I'm like, red. And they're like, the blood of Christ! And I'm just all like, no, Santa Claus. And they're just all like, wrong, infidel. And I'm like, no, 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 bye. And I remember getting out of the car, walking into the house. My mom says goodbye to the neighbors who drug us there. And she walks into the house, and she looks dead at me. And she's like, I am so sorry. And I, <laughs> a woman apologized to me. Let it be known. Proclaim it westward and through my host that a woman was, a woman said, I I'm sorry. You know, and um, I said, it's okay. And I said, Herman Melville, man. Fucking um, Ishmael. As he said, you know, fucking, um, I don't believe that God would be upset by me participating in someone else's weird religious shit. I didn't take it to heart. You know, and I, I've, I've been to Buddhist temples and Buddhist ceremonies. I really want to go to a Hindu temple that's near me. But I don't know if you can, like, what the rules are. I know the Buddhists don't give up. Fuck! Like, you can show up and smack them by their religion. They're supposed to go like, ah, very good, Hare Krishna. Uh, they wouldn't say Hare Krishna. They'd say, uh, you know, um, uh, Kamazaki. What the fuck? What's that? Uh, Shalom, basically. And um, But I don't know, man. I don't know if Hindus are okay with that. Nerd Room Collectible says, Oh, Tolstoy, I never... Ah, everything bumped. Uh, and the house is bumping, bumping. Says, Oh, 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 Tolstoy, I never heard if you followed up on trying jujitsu or not. I remember you mentioned it a while ago. Yeah, I need more money for that. And honestly, I don't want to get injured. Is there, like, a softer jujitsu, guys? I, I mean, seriously, like, I just can't afford to get fucking injured. I mean, I know that, and uh, you gotta trust the people you're doing it with. We'll see. It's definitely on my fucking list. I'm only 32. Fuck me, man. Mm. Tell you what, though. Ever since doing this new training regiment where <clears throat> I'm off for a week and I work for a week, during the week I work, I don't work out. I don't have the time. I got two hours when I get home to go to sleep. And let me tell you, I'm pretty much doing the, I'm taking the kratom powder and I've got my garden trowel and I'm going, and I'm going, and tamping it down with the fucking like, man, I'm trying to get twacked out. I do kava kava at the end of the night to fucking try to drop. Because they keep changing my shifts from really early morning to late in the evening to second shift and it's driving me nuts. Long story short, um, yeah, my joints have been feeling pretty fucking good actually. What are you beeping? If this is a fucking political ad again, if this is one more of that shit, I'm going to find you. Aw. It's not. Nah, it's Hal. It's Hal texting me. 
Um, EAEM says, more gun reviews. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh, and he says, can you do a long-term review of the AK? I can. Uh, the long-term review right now, the micro update is, it hasn't blown up on me. One day that could change. Sentry arms is shit. Um, Lincoln says, um, that is the legit review tech USA. It is. Yeah, Tolstoy, Tolstoy has connects. So this one time I was in a, I was in a, a podcast that shall not be mentioned, and it was run by a bunch of fans of mine, and I just invited it myself to it, and they got on the dude from, I think he's still on, uh, he's still on that guy with the glasses, Larry, Larry the reviewer of video games or whatever, classic review Larry or whatever, and I feel bad because I, we all talked over each other during that show, but I, he's much bigger of a of a of a guy than me. Not like physically or like a big person like he gives to charity, but like like he gets more views. And I talked over him, and I did not know who he was. So I feel like this jackass who was just like, "Who's this guy? Some Englishman? Doesn't matter. Not American. Zero out of ten. And I wasn't trying to be like that. Everyone talked over each other, but like after the podcast, everyone was really pissed at me. <laughs> um. Frankie Lopez says, didn't you review the Atari Lynx or Jaguar once? Yeah, man, a million years ago. That's where I cut my teeth. I did it before the Angry Video Game Nerd did it, by the way. Um, Lincoln says, God, I missed these streams. I know, man, cults and cuckold porn. Actually, that's what I should have named this. Sir Blumpkin says, um, thought the feds fuck us all regardless. Yeah, I know, but, like, I ain't trying to push my chips ahead. Metal Doomer says, I've been watching you since I was 10 years old, and now I'm 20. Well, I'm sorry. That's a very horrible story, son. A... A E A E M Yami Yaim says, um, porn is some vile stuff that I've been trying to quit for years. Again, I just I just don't see the problem. Like, look, man, I jerk it to porn and I've had girlfriends, and yeah, I'd rather fuck my girlfriend than jerk it to porn, man. I, I think it's just a substitute. It's like this one time. Hang on. Burp coming up. Uh, uh, oh yeah, coffee burp. Get that coffee burp going, son. This one time. I think it was a louder with Crowder. It might have been. No, I don't know. It was some streamer, some guy who I like. I, I can't remember. Me, I, he. I, I think I might have not. Uh, they might have kind of, you know, shadow banned his videos essentially. And um, he uh, he talked about a friend that he knew in college. This like skinny Asian guy just wasn't good with the girls, right? And he said that this dude during college, where he finally got his first internet connection, because this was remember this was like in the nineties or something, you know. And now colleges all have, you know, colleges had internet connections, and a lot of people didn't private internet connections. So the dude just just devolved into a hole of porn, porn as far as the eye can see. And that this dude, you know, was into midgets, spanking each other, tap dancing on the titties, you know, just whatever the fuck, you know, slapping uppers, downers, smash, quack, smack or quack, or who's could do's, who's could don'ts, with without a pusher stick. Then he meets this girl, and he says that, uh, you know, they, they, they hit it off, and, you know, they, they get married, they've had a normal relationship. Which is hysterical, that shit don't happen no more, Sonny Jim. Don't even play. Let me tell you about something. That is not, that is not a future that we can attain currently. I don't care who the fuck you think you are. That's the movement that I back. I 100%. Everyone should want that. Everyone should want to have their waifu or their husband. Though. Everyone should should strive for that. But in this current state, it is not possible. First the war, then the wine. All right? I like how my concurrent views just dropped from 10 to 0. Chat rate, 0. Yeah. They're fucking with it. They know that I'm saying shit. I like how my average watch time, though, is 556. Five, Excellent, guys. <laughs> Let's see if we can get 357 on. No, wait, that would go down. No, 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 no! Uh, what's a higher caliber? 762! 762! Um, anyway. But, long story short, um, back in the day, you know, this dude, he, he and he says he, he confided in his... Oh, now it's back up to 11 viewers. Okay. All right. Just make it sure. Just, just make it sure you're not trying to fuck me. You fucking psyop. It's okay. This, um, his friend, you know, he finally got off all the porn. He's like, yeah, well, I don't really watch any of that anymore because I got my wife now and we're, we have a happy relationship and shit like that. And... You know, it's like I paused the video and I just, my brother was cracking up because I just like lost it. And I was just like, no, you don't say. You know, I assumed that all the American POWs, when they got out of the Hanoi hellhole from Vietnam, I assume when they came back, they continued to eat rats. I assume that they continued to eat maggots and rats to survive. I assume that they continued to sleep in point jet pits because they really grew to like it over the years. Like, no, retard. A bunch of these young men aren't addicted to the porns. It's because it's all they fucking got. Because the game is shit right now. You're not supposed to say that, though. And then the next thing they, they say is, because you're an insult. All right, fine. You know, nothing that you can say 
is going to dissuade me from my belief that the system be fucked. And trust me, I am the prophet fucking Jeremiah. Come back. Reread the book of Jeremiah. It is based. The Old Testament, I've come full fucking circle. The Old Testament's got some based shit. Essentially, I view myself a lot as Jeremiah because in my head, I when I read, I see like a lot of like, I know it's weird, but I like to read like a lot of historical stuff and it helps me to envision it because I'm a visual learner. I see it as like cartoons. See it as like an educational cartoon playing out. Like, you remember the back in the day, Hysteria, WB? That kind of animation style. And there's a, Jeremiah basically is a prophet, long story short, too long, didn't read, uh, the Bible, the first testament is, uh, there is one God, but ironically, and most Christians don't understand this, they think that the first testament talks about Satan dissuading the Jews with visions of other gods, that's completely false, the Jews didn't believe in one dark evil that lives in the ground who wears a red suit and has a pitchfork, but there were other gods, and they were not to be trusted. There is only one God, have no other ones before me. But the Jews keep fucking up because because they're dumb hoes and they think that this they think that this John Moloch is going to take them away from all this. And then essentially Jeremiah is the older, wiser bottom bitch who's just like, "See, daddy only hits you cuz you ain't listening and you need to be out there making daddy Jehovah's money." Like that's just it. it. That's just what it is. Like, didn't he take you up out of the desert? Didn't she give you didn't he take you out of Egypt? Didn't he give you manna from the sky? Well, then girl, you need to be out there on them streets making daddy his money. And that's the, the thing is, this dumb hoe always keeps on thinking that she can, like, get taken away by Beelzebub or Baal. So long story short, Je um, Jeremiah is basically saying, um, Allah is going to pimp slap you. And that when he slap a hoe, he makes her teeth to fly and the ground to shake. So you need to be aware of that. And basically all the Jews at that point just kind of go, Nyeh! And they don't like hearing that, and they have all these idols to dark gods like Beelzebub and, and, and you know, all Canaanite deities, uh, a lot of which involve child sacrifice, specifically Moloch. Watch that one. Um, and at, at a certain point, um, he says, all of these, all this jewelry and all of this incense and everything that you burn that you do for these statues of Beelzebub will not bring it to life. Which is interesting. That's a weird. That's and it's like you can't just be a religious cultist and read the Bible, man. You gotta be. Hang on. We we got him. We got him right here. You gotta be Nathan Drake about that shit. There is an interesting. Um, Interesting psychological historical theory called the theory of the bicameral mind, which states that up until a certain point, human consciousness was not the same as we understand it today. Humans were not biologically and thus for, therefore consciously the same as we were back in the day. Back in the day, supposedly this guy postulates based on literature throughout the era, and you can see it slowly morphing from more mystical, magical beliefs in fairies and cyclops and goblins and angels to more down-to-earth historical shit. Right around the time of Jesus Christ, you stop seeing references to all these, you know, kind of external creatures that we can see because back in the day, he claimed that we all had schizophrenia. We had a shared delusion, and... There is evidence to back this up because a lot of, like, the Greek gods at the time, their statues, it was expected. It's in their writings. It's weird. They believed that when you sacrificed a lamb to Zeus, you would place that lamb before the statue. And in their writings, it seems as though they believe that the statue comes to life and eats the lamb and drinks the, uh, drinks the, the wine that you left it. And then you start seeing mechanical statues that actually have the ability to, like, lift their hands and shit. And I'm wondering, so the theory kind of postulates that as time goes along um, and people were becoming less schizophrenic and having more of a objective view of reality that objects don't come to life and talk to them, our inner dialogue, our inner monologue sounding more like a voice on the inside, which, by the way, would explain Jesus Christ's message of a personal relationship with the one God, having that internal dialogue, I am your spiritual connection. You are no longer hearing it via radio waves. You have it via Bluetooth. It is no longer external. It is internal. You don't see an angel with a flaming sword going, get milk on the way home. You think to yourself, and you hear the voice in your head, the voice of God. Oh, get, get milk on the way home. Yeah, I probably should do that. Uh, long story short, that is likely what Jeremiah is talking about when he says, you know, your statues are not going to fucking come to life, bro. Um, they might have been somewhere along that, that way. But I, I just keep on seeing myself as Jeremiah and trying to explain to all of these... People trying to ride the new relationship waves, trying to ride the new styles of, well, we have an open relationship, we're poly, we're degenerate, we're cuckolds, we're whatever. Uh, and I, I'm just thinking, like, you know, and I just want to, I feel like I have a robe and the staff and a crazy beard. I'm just like, you know that statue's not going to come to life, right? 
you know, I just want to tell them, like, you know, it's not going to last. You know, it fucking doesn't work. You know, being poly doesn't goddamn work. I've seen it fail over and over with different people. Like, no matter what, someone gets jealous. Like, there was a reason that traditional shit was tradition. There was a reason that for generations we have monogamy. And I, c I can tell you, the answer wasn't because evil men have penises. It's because it's the only thing that creates a stable society. But don't worry, Jack. It's not going to matter, because just like in the book of Jeremiah, where the Babylonians came and, and skull-fucked the Jews at the time, our enemies will do the same to us. The Chinese will continue to have babies. The Russians will continue to have babies. The Muslims will continue to have babies. The Mexicans will continue to have babies. They're traditional. They're going to wipe us out. White people? <laughs> Except for the Slavs. We're going bye-bye. So, that sucks, but I don't give a fuck. Y'all should have thought of that shit before you let in Malak and whatnot. Fuck them. They're hiring... Fuck them. Indeed keeps on sending me shit. For companies that I hate. Bitch. Let's keep on reading the comments, shall we? Um, Hungry and Hungover says, Are you going to do No Shave November? Um, I can't with my current position. And honestly, I, I shouldn't have let it get this bad. Uh, I'm gonna, I've got to shave before I go back into work in a week. Uh, Nerd Room Collectibles says, E-A-E-M... Uh, I struggled with that shit for years, dude. It's fucking terrible. And no, TKE, I know that it's because of the world. It's why it happened to me, dude. Um, less so the world, more so the media influence everything the fuck most of us over. Indeed. As I said, those statues won't come to life. And I know that. And, and Bush, by the way, which make us the Levites. Look into it, man. All the tribes of Israel failed. And they did not worship Yahweh. And they all turned to Baal and Beelzebub and all that shit and Moloch. But the Levites... And the Levites were the only ones that got left. The Babylonians didn't, if I remember correctly, the Babylonians did not take them for some reason. And they were just like, all right, we're going to keep on. But the other 12 tribes, the other 11 tribes did. And they learned from the Babylonians. Dark, horrific shit. But now we're getting into, like, you know, alternative history, Nathan Drake style. Like, if I just know the code. But, Nathan, no one's ever said, Nate, no one's ever said that. What is his, what does Sully call Nate? He doesn't call him Nate. He calls him, like, my boy or something, doesn't he? Nate? Oh, God. If I'm forgetting, I need to go play. I need to replay Uncharted, baby. Do, 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 do. Churchill Bhatia says, Have you heard the theories regarding the missing years of Jesus, him being in Kashmir and all that? Yeah, I have. I've heard, um, actually, what I've mostly heard about was um, that how he influenced the uh, the Essenes. And a dude heard my, like, personal philosophy of becoming, like, a warrior priest and kind of just becoming a secluded warrior priest society that I kind of want to do really bad. And he was like, so you're like the Essenes. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, they believe that Yahweh's coming judgment was the Romans, and they had to train to prepare for it. And I'm just all like, based, based, based. So based. Um, Frankie Lopez says, man, I everything bumped. Oh, hey, look. Hal's in here. Hal, I mentioned you on stream because you text me. I don't know where to get the fish costume. But as I said, when you have your future child, he's returning as a Magikarp, and we're returning as the Pokemon trainers. It's, gonna, it's all going to work out, baby, if America's still there in, like, ten years' time. Although I doubt it. ta 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 ta, -ta. Scroll on down. Scroll it down. Frankie Lopez says, Man, I remember watching Tolstoy back when I was 16, 17. I'm 31. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, my God. That means that you watched me when I was your age, bud. Damn. I don't know how I feel about that. But that's better than me influencing kids who were small at the time. Like, you know... I feel bad when they're like, I was 10 years old, and I watched your nerdy-ass shit, and now I'm like a fucking twisted retard. And it's like, oh, fuck, man, I'm sorry. It's like, do you ever go back and like watch the Power Rangers, and you're like, oh my god, this was brain-dead and retarded. No wonder my parents didn't want me watching this shit. No wonder I turned out fucked up, because this was the shit that I was watching. Now, I don't regret Pokemon. Pokemon was badass and taught me several life lessons. For example, evolve your goddamn Pikachu, bitch. Sir Blumpkin says, what's your religious stance now? I never took you for coming... From a Christian background, to be honest, leaving Christianity is one of the best... Oh, then you don't know the old Tolstoy. I made religious uh, apologist videos. I made pro-Jesus videos back in the day, bro. Those videos have been... I think I kept them up! Did I keep up my What I Believe videos? Oh, boy. Those were rough. And I did them without a shirt on. Not to be weird, but it was hot. It was hot in my parents' house, and I had to talk about Jesus, which got me... Ah! Hot! So, um... Eh, I have had a religious experience that was mighty powerful, and I believe in God. And I believe that there are many, many extensions of the divine, and it's just kind of learn them all and mix it. It don't really fucking matter, man. It, I don't really think God... 
I don't really think God cares. Mostly, I just feel like there is definitely a God and there's definitely evil. And I think that evil by nature wants to deconstruct everything that the architect has created up to fucking code. I had a massive acid trip. That's what I did. Met fucking God. And he's like, bro, did you know that I built everything to fucking code? And I was like, really? And he's all like, yeah, um, fucking everything is level. Um, I am the uh, I am the fucking OSHA safe Mac Daddy of the universe, and everything works in a fine tuning that you'll never be able to understand. And I'm like, badass. And he's like, yeah, but there's people who think that they that they would do a better job having made the universe than me, and they're you know going to try to destroy everything, and there's going to be a coming reckoning for them. So get right. And I was like, neat. So essentially, um, now I'm a a werewolf from Werewolf the Apocalypse. Stop cutting down the goddamn trees. I am a, I am a, I'm kind of like a monotheistic pagan, which sort of makes me a Hindu. And by the way, this is a legal move. You can be a Hindu that specializes in Jesus. He might have just been the avatar of Vishnu who comes to return things at the end of Kali Yuga. This is literally not, this is not, this is up to code, I swear. And also there are sects of Buddhism that accept him as one of the Buddhas. So... If you go to Eastern Pantheist faiths, they let everything jive. There's so many different, like, ah, we're kind of Hindu, but we're a little bit Sikh, and, you know, got some Christian mixed in there. Don't, don't really fucking matter. The Japanese do the same fucking thing. They're like, ah, we're kind of Buddhist, but we also celebrate, you know, Easter. It's, it's okay. You go to the West, but you get, like, Islam or Christianity, and to an extent, Judaism, and it's like, no, fuck you, you're wrong, it's mine or I'll kill you. They're the sky cake, motherfuckers. The, East, the Eastern Pantheists don't give a shit. Uh, Frankie Lopez says, I collect playing card decks to this day because of Tolstoy. Goddamn, another person that I've poorly influenced to waste their time with cardboard. Ow. I love hitting my teeth, my front fucking teeth with the... That was a big slug. Because I'm a big man. Not really. <laughs> a big man! Um. Oh, fuck you. Tim Andrews says, get new sites for your Glock yet? No. I thought about it. I think the first thing, if I was going to be, if I was going to mod it out, I, I kind of like it vanilla, to be perfectly honest. As we have discussed earlier, Tolstoy is very vanilla. We just put the P and the V, and we keep the factory settings on everything. Um, if I'm going to mod it, I'm probably I'm thinking about just getting a laser sight, uh, which I've heard is good for new shooters. Um, but I, I thought about getting fiber optic sights, because then fiber optic sights is pretty cute. But I don't know if they go, go well on a Glock. I feel like a Glock's monochromatic look is just... Very tasteful. Just very tasteful. Um, Andrew Winslow says, Hi, Tolstoy. Quest, if the... I, I think he means question, but he says quest, and I'm just like, all right, I got a side quest from a, from a, from an NPC that I didn't ac I accidentally talked to by clicking on. He says, Hi, Tolstoy. Question, if the police get refunded, I think he means defunded, and there are no police anymore, you are going to be... to do a free-for-all in real life? You're a fucking fed. You smell like a fed. Stephen Knight is in. He says, hey, I made it to the party. Stephen hit me up on Facebook. He was just like, are you going to do any more of those live streams? And I was like, I'm trying to stay sober, though. And there's so much more fun when I get twisted. Like, I try in the beginning to like, nah, because just booze doesn't work in my brain anymore. Like, without cocaine being involved. Um, Patrick Kul Kul Carney, fun last name, says, hey, Tolstoy, what do you do for a living? <laughs> you wish to know. Uh, Jeremy Peoples says, hey, everyone. And he got the horns. Uh, A E A E M says E A E E A. Wait, is it? Mm, old McDonald had a farm. E A E E M E A E M M. I don't know. Says yeah, but you can't just leave porn after watching it for years and end overnight. If you meet someone, try it next time you're dating someone. I fucking will. I mean, what do you mean? You can't. You can have both. I just. I mean, what? You're look, man. Unless I'm in a relationship where I can point to that bitch and be like, strip. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the most part, unfortunately, it has never been, I've never been that lucky where any of my relationships have been like, I can just get it whenever I want. And honestly, that led to a lot of depression. That's that's one reason why I just don't like relationships. It's like, well, what am I paying for? Like, it's like buying a gun and spending a shit ton in maintenance or like buying a car, spending a shit ton in maintenance, and it only works sometimes. It's like when the car feels like it, which no matter what makes me feel like a fucking heel. I, I just, I can't get down, you know? It's like, I would rather be by myself and just at least it know, like, honestly, I'd rather buy a whore. Fuck it. At least you know what it is with the whore. You feel less dishonored. I don't know what this psyop is where people have this cultural aversion to hookers, but to me, it's like, hey, man, I love hookers. They know exactly what they do, and they do it for the price they tell you. I just wish they'd be more open about the price. 
because I, I never figured out, like, how do you talk to them about pricing? Because, like, let's be honest, you, they might be overpriced. If I get, like, finished and they're just all, like, that's $400, I'm going to go, like, whoa, bitch, can we return some of that dick suck? Because that ain't worth no, worth no $400. If you ask me, I ain't trying to be mean or nothing. Tim Andrews says, plenty of studies out there that porn can, in fact, be addiction. It's like alcohol or any other substance abuse. Some get addicted, some don't, married or not. Fair enough, fine, but you know me. I'm ultimate libertarian, and I think that fucking coke, crack, should be fucking legal. And some people will not handle it good, and in which case, they should just have public fucking awareness. Look how well the free market handled cigarettes. Pretty much nobody smokes anymore. More people smoke in uh, Europe than they do in America, really. And we never, we didn't have to ban them, we didn't have to tax them. No amount of government surgeon general's warnings changed the situation. It was a matter of just educating people and making it known, hey, it's, you know, women don't find you sexy when you got them yellow teeth and them horrible smell and phenotypes, you know, um, don't smoke, you know? And uh, so we just should do the same thing. Like, hey, man, if you're going to use meth, just realize it's going to destroy your fucking life, you know? Sorry, the camera's out of focus and it's going to drive me fucking nuts. I swear to God, every fucking time with this piece of shit that I'm filming on, it's a goddamn potato. I'm going to change it up for you guys. I'm going to uh, eventually invest in a better goddamn camera. But I should probably also get an actual camera camera so I can get footage of me at the range using the Glock, get some hiking footage, rock climbing. You know, honestly, I was really happy about the lineup that I had achieved before I started live streaming. And then I started live streaming and I realized it was really easy to fucking like come up with like really quasi-entertaining uh, quasi-entertaining stuff, you know, that I feel actually ironically represents the real me a bit more, because I can be more cavalier, which I probably shouldn't be. It's what's going to get me in fucking trouble. But, um, unfortunately, all of these fucking live streams, I feel, really make my goddamn channel look cheap. But it is what it is. What does it matter? The internet's not serious business. Uh, Asako says, what about guys who don't want to have sex with their girlfriends and would rather jack it to porn? That happens. No, it does not. <laughs> You lie! You lie! I don't believe you for one goddamn minute. Sorry, man. Well, then that's just not me, bro. Like, no, Jack. I mean, no. Yeah, sorry. Don't see it. It depends. Then maybe the sex just is not good with it. Is the sex terrible with their women? Like, bro, I've been with chicks who were ironically really hot, and they thought, I guess they just thought they were so far above me that, you know, it was just like, oh, well, I don't have to do anything for his pleasure so it was like fucking a pillow dead serious and then i've been with like kind of ugly like five out of ten chicks but like they suck the paint off the fucking drywall and shit man god damn the bitch be like riding your dick and choking you physically like just grabs head berries in the titties of course she was a fucking amazonian she was just a big and ugly type it was literally that episode of futurama with me want snoo snoo and it was just like death Bye, Snoo Snoo! And it was just me going... You know what I mean? Like, damn. Bitch sounded like a deaf girl, too, when she was having her orgasm, man. It was just like... Oh, oh, oh. And I'm just like, are you stabbed? Did my dick rupture your vagina? So, maybe that's the issue. I don't fucking know. Like, yeah, I, I guess I have had some, like, sex that was fucking terrible, in which case the porn is better, but I've also had good sex, so... You know. And, and by the way... Still isn't worth losing your fucking, um, your sovereignty over. I feel like, at least for dudes like me, just the average dude on the street, trying to get, trying to get into a relationship or get laid or, or get down is like the fucking Thanos meme where it's just like, what did it cost you? Everything. And was it worth it? No. It's pussy. It's okay. You know? Honestly, getting drunk feels better. Doing coke feels way goddamn better. Kratom. It's about on par with Kratom. A, a good night of getting twacked on Kratom is about... Is, and by the way, goddamn, I would love to combine women and Kratom. I cannot imagine how much fun that would be. But unfortunately, ain't no willing bitches. And that's fine. I'm not going to sit here and prostrate myself. I'm not going to sit here and, and chase after women who basically have made it clear that, like, you know, uh, I, you know I'm not worthy of, the, of them appealing to me. They're not going to approach me. They're not going to put off any signals. If they do, it was only to, to get me hooked so that they can start having this system where they act like, you know, they text me first, they put out the, they, they put out the, the message that they want me to pick them up or they want me to do something like, oh, I'd really like to go to the gym one day. So then I just think, okay, and I send it out there. I'm like, all right, girl, well, let's go to the gym. I'll pick you up. We'll fucking go. No, no, I, I can't. No, no. Yeah, bitch, I'm not going to fucking chase you, okay? I'm not going to devalue my pride, devalue my sovereignty, and cut my own balls off just so I can maybe get a little bit of the gene. 
We're not fucking doing that. It'll never be worth it. Not fucking ever. Okay? You know, fucking doing drugs feels good. Not worth losing my freedom. It's just that simple. That's terrible that it is that way. The drug laws should not be that way. And my feminism shouldn't fucking be that way. But it is. So, I like it, but, you know, if you were like, if you, if you were my dealer and you're like, all right, well, we gotta, you gotta show up to my house and, uh, I, I'm clearly a sting, you know, and I, I sound like a fucking, like a fucking narc agent, well, I'm gonna tell you to get fucked, bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, porn is a problem. And, um, it's not our fault. I didn't fucking vote that shit in. You know, I, I yearn for a society where addiction goes away, but that's what I'm saying is I want a better society. Addiction is not, uh, is does not come about on accident. It's not like fucking men. It's not, you know, like anyone just wakes up one day and is like, I think I want to do heroin. It comes about when their tribe and their societies and their situation is so hopeless and absolute dog shit that in order just to break even and feel like it's worth it not to put a pistol in their mouth, they need some kind of substance just to stay alive. And you can ask me anything about that because I can tell you about that. Like, I'm just struggling to hang on in these dark times and I'm just glad that there are lighter drugs out there than alcohol. I'm glad that there are substitutes for alcohol and they're thinking about banning the things that I really like and that's okay because uh i can always flip out and show you how little i had left to lose yeah i, I think that this is probably going to end up in a deleted room we're not gonna this is probably not going to stay up for too fucking long um tim andrew says also tons of brain scan studies that show the detrimental effects porn and porn withdrawal can have in some porn <laughs> oh come on man bruh all right that sucks the then for that people I feel like I just have a greater willpower then, you know, um, because I can walk away from a lot of things. As I said, I have done things that a lot of people think are just super addictive and you'll die. And alcohol was the worst. I remember alcohol has been the most destructive drug that I have done. You know what I mean? Like never liked weed. You can't get addicted to acid. Um, I've I shouldn't be this open, but anyway, so long story short, I've walked away from a lot of shit. Um, then again, it's also about access to it. Most of the stuff that I've tried, I don't really have the ability to get my hands on. I do, but I don't reach out to those people. But then again, maybe that's my willpower. But then again, then again, maybe I just have things in my life worth living for. Maybe if, you know, we were all, you know, a rich, popular YouTube personality. <laughs> just kidding. But maybe I have good friends and family support, which I do, actually. Um, This last, this season where I went through an, un an unemployment and a a great fucking, you know, major disaster, a goddamn, you know, natural uh, fucking Chinese bioweapon. Um, I had a great network of friends and family who kept me, you know, and even YouTube, YouTube people, you know, YouTube family kept me, just watch, doing these live streams kept me together. You guys have actually probably been, I think, I was thinking about this the other day when I was at work, uh, I was like, yeah, you know, if it hadn't been for the YouTube peeps, I probably would have shot myself, <laughs> just being real. So, that sucks for those people. We should change the way that society is. I wonder what we would have to change about society to make people have not have porn addiction. Well, I wonder. I wonder what we could. I wonder what would have to. What would have to fucking change? Oh well. Oh well. I was watching the, to end that 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 thought process. I was watching this thing about this this British dude from the BBC who was going around asking a bunch of people in England and London whether or not they would agree with uh, Sharia law, whether or not they should have Sharia law, and they ask all the the white European cocks. And they all say, they're, they're mixed, but mostly they're like, no. Because essentially, they, you know, they, they, they know how, what Sharia law is. And they ask a Muslim dude, and just without blinking, he's like, well, you're going to have to get used to it. And the, the British dude was like, you what? And he's like, yeah, well, uh, we have like nine kids for every family. You don't. You don't reproduce. And like, he just serves up the mighty bitch slap of Allah and explains, yeah, you're fucked. You're weak. You're betas. Like, we're going to win. And I'm just like, damn, boy. Damn! Fuck, man. I should get a Quran. In fact, it's one of the only religious texts I've actually never read. That and the and I can't pronounce it because I it's the Bhagavad Vada Had Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu holy book. Um. Nerd Room Collectible says, uh, "Well, the only reason I was able to stop is because of the current girlfriend." Then you literally proved my point. He says, "I finally lost the virginity." The virginity. Not my virginity, the vir the f the virginity. <laughs> I finally lost the virginity. It's like some horrible monster that follows you around, going virgin, uh, and, and basically forced myself to thrive off of that type of thing. Good for you, then you fucking did it. 
All right? It's exactly what I'm talking about. You cured yourself, just in the same way that as soon as I started lifting weights, I was like, I guess it's time to leave alcoholism behind. Nerd from Collectible says, I'm just explaining myself, but not trying to brag or be self-congratulatory. No, there's nothing wrong with feeling good about yourself. Jeremy People says, what's your thought on Spider-Man Miles Morales game? They're making a Miles Morales game? Neat! That's about it. I probably won't buy it, but neat. Um, A A E A M says, uh, da -da -da. that's awesome. I respect that. I have had plenty of girlfriends and hookups, but I haven't been able to stop it for years, and it eats away at me. God damn, you guys are... You're telling me a sad story on live stream. Miluga says, yes, Tolstoy, can you give us a sip of the oil on stream? God damn you, man. You're back. Tim Andrews says, at... Oh, my God, you need a new name. AIM! I'm calling you AIM from now on. Um, try taking an AANA approach, dude. Plenty of groups that help that sort of thing. Plus, they're free if you can't afford actual therapy. There's Porn, a porn Anonymous. Whatever. I don't judge. I like... I like what's-his-face. I like Terry Crews. He's a cool bro. One of my um one of my best friends, he was trying to write a book. And he um he had saved as his background his wallpaper on his phone. Some picture of some black guy in a suit and he has his fingers kind of like this and he sort of has this judgmental face and the caption reads shouldn't you be writing right now to like remind him that he has to always keep writing. And I wanted to get that kind of a similar image of Terry Crews and it says shouldn't you be lifting right now. But ironically, you can't find any pictures of Terry Crews with a disapproving face. You can but they're from his role of Everybody Hates Chris. I wanted to find that uh, with him lifting. He's always happy at the gym, so there's nothing that you can do. Was not able to achieve. Uh, Sir Blumpkin says, Do you believe that gays have acquired an additional level of privilege? I have met a few gay men that have continued to cross the line after I told them I don't swing that way. Really? That's interesting. I've been hit on by a lot of gay dudes. I was considered a compliment, but once I told them they wasn't gay, they just went away. Which was fine. Yeah, no. Um, it, it's not that they have achieved a higher level of privilege. And God, that fucking word is being used so wrong all the time, always. And it makes me want to kill myself. Privilege is not a social advantage. It kind of is. A privilege is something that you get in return for having done something. If you're if you're a veteran, you can board an airplane before everyone else. That's a privilege. You earned that privilege. It's something that you earn. It's not something that's just given to you for something that you are passively. If there is a, for example, if there is a imbalance in between, uh, you know, the way that the police and the justice system handle black members of our society versus white members of our society. This isn't a fucking privilege that white people get. You're using that word wrong, and you sound like a fucking moron every time you say it. It's just a malfunction of the police. And, like, pro tip, what do you want us to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? I don't admit that you have the privilege. Like, even if I believe, even if I agree with you, and I don't necessarily fucking agree with you, and I have evidence to the contrary of what you're saying, what am I supposed to do? Tell the police to knock it off? Like, yeah, I control it all. Like, yes, all white people have, like, the secret white people meeting where we all meet and we wear, like, triangular hats with an eye at the center and we go, Omni Quamni Funkasaurus, and then we sit down and go over the meeting, the minutes, and they're like, last week we discussed beating black people on an average of 4.5. Like, we don't fucking get together and we don't, like, have a coalition of white people that decides this shit. If it's a malfunction, it's a malfunction. And, yeah, we'd like to fix it and I'd be down, but, like, not really into helping when you basically tell me that I'm terrible and evil. Like... I was kind of down with helping you, and then you are just like, faggot. I'm like, oh. Well, now that you say that, I don't know that I want to help you. You're mean to me. Why should I fucking help you, bro? Like, that doesn't fucking help. If you were nicer and you're like, hey, man, I noticed that the police kill white people innocently as well. You know, do you think that this could happen to you? Don't you think this is an issue? Don't you think we should sit down and talk about it? It's almost like there was this dude who had, like, this passive resistance mentality. He was really popular, and they made, like, a lot of statues of him, and they named a bunch of streets after him. Martin Luther something? I forget. Anyway. Um, but, no, gay dudes don't have more privilege. They've just finally started reaching the level of a free citizen, which is, like, they should be able to be gay and get married. That's fine. But for some reason, that comes at a cost of, like, normal straight people being treated like shit sometimes. Like, I don't... But, oh, I see what you're saying. Like, that they can kind of get away with acting rapey. I don't know. I've never seen them act that way, to be perfectly honest. But I would not be surprised. Yeah, and it's not really the fact that they have a privilege. It's the fact that society acts like men can do no right. And if something bad happens to a man, teehee, you deserve it. Case in point, 
They say that we have a rape society. You have a rape culture. Yeah, more men get raped in America than women statistically because we have one quarter of all humans who are in prison exist in America. If you are a prisoner on planet terra firma, you have a one in four chance of being an American. So, you know, so if you're going to get raped, you're gonna, and, and people laugh about it. Which, by the way, going back to like the whole Christian thing where it's like you're hypocritical as shit. Every time you ask Christians to say where the Bible says that, you know, homosexuality is a sin, they always, again, because they don't know how to be Nathan goddamn Drake, they read it fucking literally. I saw this cartoon the other day that cracked my shit up, and it's like some like religious farmer, and he says, it says in the Bible to treat all the poor as if they were Jesus. And he turns, and the camera pans, and it's a bunch of poor people who have been all been crucified. And I'm like, yeah, you don't think he meant it literally. Um, in Leviticus, where they say that a man should not lie with another man, that is an abomination. They were talking about jail rape, bruh. They were specifically referencing the fact, because they were talking, it was in a part of Leviticus where they were discussing the bro code with people who are coming into your nation. It was about treating foreigners, and the Quran has a very fucking, I think, Surah 9. That, that might also have to do with war a bit, but essentially it was just a set of the rules in the rule book that's about treating your enemies with, or treating your foreigners with some level of respect. Don't fucking jail rape them, because back in the fucking day in the desert, and I'm sure it still fucking happens, I'm sure the Taliban still rape enemy members of other tribal units or some shit like that if they're, you know, too demoralize them. That's just fucking sick. And Allah says he doesn't like that fucking shit. Literally, it says it in the Quran. Don't do it. Um, so, but America still laughs at it. We, we make jail rape jokes. It's funny. So, the way I see it, you've pissed off God. And much like it says in the book of Jeremiah, brace for the bitch slap. Here it comes. Um, on your mark, get set. Lincoln says, bro, going through all these dating apps in the area I just moved to, there's so many people with poly and multiple partners. I just look at it like, so you're a whore with a fancy name. Gotcha. Yep. Yep, yep, bro. The dudes who are willing to let themselves be in that. Jesus Christ. Now that's what I call beta. Um, Aim says, uh, Tim Andrews, I look, look, I will look into that. I have had therapists, and when I mention it, they just say, oh, that sucks. It feels gross, and don't talk about it much. There you fucking go, yeah, because society does not understand the true nature of addiction. And specifically if they're boomers, don't fucking talk to a boomer. If you go to a fucking therapist and it's a boomer, they just won't fucking understand. I, I talk to my parents sometimes. And they just don't understand shit. Like, recently I had a massive fucking crisis, and I was, like, terrified because I thought at my new job I was going to endure more gaslighting. And I've, I've been through a chapter of gaslighting. I'm glad that this generation is seeing some level of... some level of recognition about people who do that because it's some sneaky-ass horrible shit. I realized the other day, I panicked, and I said, oh, my God, when I, did I make a mistake when I was back in Section B or whatever? And then I realized, no, 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 you, you did do that. You didn't forget to do that. And I was like, why did I panic? And I assumed that I did. And it's like, because at your last job, they were gaslighting you so fucking hard that you started to question your sanity. And now you question even the things that you did right. You suddenly have that, that little heart attack of, did I do it wrong? And I realize I'm going to live with this for quite some time. And it's terrible to do that. And people who do practice gaslighting as a... Filthy, conniving, little hook-nosed thing to do to people because you don't like who they are as a person or their politics and you want to use your privileged status in the workplace. You should get hung. By the neck until dead. Um, but, like, try to explain it to a boomer and they're just like, I don't understand. That ain't what either CNN or Fox News says, buddy! So it ain't real. And it's just like, Jesus Christ, why are you so dumb? God damn. It's like, I love them, but why don't they understand? Like, you can explain it to them and they're just like, uh-huh but I don't understand. It's like, you will reach, I'm, I'm terrified, I'm gonna reach a certain age, and some young kid's gonna be like, these are holograms. And I'll be like, no, -uh, ain't no holograms exist. And they'll be like, but they are, they're, they're holograms. Then they show me proof, and I go, but Fox News doesn't say that. And I'll just be, it'll, it'll be it. That'll be the end of my ability to learn as a human being in advance. Um, Metal Doomer says, who's ready for the boog? I sure am. Uh, Tim Andrews says, at AIM, look into DBT therapy. Shit works. I'm so, I'm not even going to look that up. I'm so worried about what that's an acronym for. Uh, Tim Andrews says, I wonder when DBT for PTSD and it helped a ton. Bro, there's better treatment for PTSD. It's called Molly. I'm not making it up. Western European countries have started using it. It has a way higher effective rate than what we do. The main thing that we do to treat PTSD in this country is psychotherapy and benzodiazepines. And let me tell you what the fucking devil is. It's completely legal as long as you get a prescription for it. And I know so many people who have almost had seizures from withdrawing from that shit. Never known anyone who died from Molly. But it should be banned. 
because it keeps 22 vets a day from killing themselves. Wait a minute. Ooh, we got some dissonance going on here. The Omni Seal says Tolstoy had the biggest glow up over the course of this decade. Glow up? Are you calling me? Are you saying I'm a fed? Tim Andrews says, speaking of which, put on my Marpat camis, Tolstoy. No. No. What are you, you talking about for the, um, for the boog? Maybe. No, I don't, I don't want to look too militarized. That's why I got the Glock. I realized I wanted a real low profile, so I purposely bought a, um, I purposely bought a hiking backpack that looks kind of hikerish, but also has the molly on it. So, uh, essentially I can attach some stuff to it, but pretend that I'm just a lost hiker in the Appalachian Trail. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I don't know. But have that high capacity 9mm in case they go, <laughs> you got a pretty mouth. Or, you know, if I run into a group and I don't know which side they're on, I'm going to go, uh, yeah, we beat those um, Republican, and I wait until I see their face, and if for whatever reason they think that I'm the enemy, I'm just gonna take out from underneath my hoodie, and then I'm gonna be gonna be a gangster. I'm gonna hold it sideways and go blah blah. I'm physically going to yell the word blah blah as I shoot at them. That'll that'll be what I do. I think you know what I actually need to find is I uh, I think can your um I think those pouches that you sent me those Molly pouches for um. For the, uh, the the pistol pouches, I think those will fit with Glock 19 mags. Maybe attach that to. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a uh, like a little Molly harness for my chest for the AK mags. Otherwise, if I don't feel like wasting the money, I'm honestly gonna put the AK mags on my um on the backpack. I know it's not within like I can't immediately reach behind me and get the the mag. The backpack's too big. But I mean, if I drop the pack, if if after 40 rounds I have not suppressed them long enough to drop my backpack and grab another mag. Or if the gun blows up on me, which it very much, very could well do. Fuck. What, you know, fuck it. What was I supposed to do? That's God calling me home, bro. Um, Hungry and Hungover says, if I was American, I would write Tolstoy for president. If I ran for president, I would run on the platform of, and I would make it make America insane again. Everyone who's like, America's so crazy. Like, no, they're not. You, you realize we're a nation of psychopaths that were founded by literal tax dodging, gun running, drug dealing, prostitute nailing, cop killing, psycho anarchists who belong to a cult called the Hell's Fire Club. The dude who they sent, uh, who was on our $100 bill, who they sent to the French to get the guns. They had to send Thomas Jefferson after two years, and when he found him, I'm assuming it's in like his binge of whores and wine, and was just like, have you just... Have you just been fucking whores this whole time? And I assume that, like, fucking Benjamin was like, huh? No, 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 Louis, Louis, bud. Uh, then what about them guns that we talked about? And I'm assuming Louis the whatever was like, what guns? He's like, bro, 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 those, those guns. The, we were talking about them, the guns, you know? You're fucking up my style here. And Thomas Jefferson's just like, oh, dear heaven, my God. You know? And, um, fuck, yeah, man. I would literally, I would literally, like, I think actually really, um, What's his face? Is uh, who's that guy who who's a joke? The the troll candidate, uh, Rat Singer. What's his name? Oh no, that was the Pope a couple couple of popes ago, R uh, Rat Von Rappentrap or whatever the fuck, who says he was running on a platform that he wants to take your guns, and give you better ones. That would be the Tolstoy platform. I would literally just I would play Kid Rock's cowboy, and I would run on the platform of uh, hookers and cocaine and dune buggies and machine pistols. Fuck yeah, man. I can smell a pig from a mile away. Yeah, that's what I would fucking do. It's some fucking good ass. It's some gourmet shit, Jimmy. Don't fucking gourmet shit, Jimmy me. My wife buys it. Or I buy it. Cause my wife buys the shit. I forget their name. Ah, yeah, da, 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 da. Tim Andrews says, Glock sites are the first things you should get rid of. I have fiber optics on my tr on mine. Tri Trigicon. I don't have money. I'm poor. Uh, blacked out rear red front. I'll send you pics on Facebook later. Yeah, I'm thinking green. Because if I'm going to get fiber. And you know I'm going to get the poor version of that. What's the fucking Walmart version of that shit be? Sikobliat says, I'm personally a follower of anarcho-cowboyism. Just what we're talking about, man. Anarcho-cowboyism. Yeehaw and break the law. Tim Andrews says, a laser sight. What the fuck? Laughing my ass off. No. Use your sights. I'm not going to shit on you constantly since you shot on my Glock for years. Oh, I'm going to shit on you constantly since you shot on my Glock for years. I don't remember that. I don't remember shitting on your Glock, but... Um, 
don't know, man. Leon Kennedy in RE4 uses a laser sight, so, I mean, he is super secret. I think he was Secret Service or some shit. I don't fucking know. He's Leon Kennedy, man. It's got to be good. Um, Metal Doomer says, I'm an M9 guy. Get the fuck out of here. I literally made OC on my... Um, an OC meme on my uh, my Facebook, and it's uh, it's the the setup of like the guys in the boardroom, and uh, the board director says we need to come up with a uh, we need to model the main character's gun for our upcoming game off of uh, a real world gun. What model should we use? And the first guy says, "Oh, an, an M uh, M ninety two F S." And uh, the lady says, "Oh, how about an M ninety two F S?" And the dude who's sitting here like this says, "How about any gun that is not a model ninety two F S Beretta?" And then he throws him out the window. Because for whatever reason, Berettas are just so you goddamn ubiquitous to every fucking Hollywood shit video game. Fuck, man. There are other goddamn guns. What about a 1911? What about a Sig Sauer P226? What about a CZ? Fuck me, man. What about a 5.7? What about a Heckler & Coke P90? Make it something, anything. What about a Walther? Anything but a goddamn Beretta. Anyway, I think my neighbor's going to call the cops soon. Fuck them. They should have more loud, dancing, stomping parties. You guys love doing that. Sir Blumpkin says STD is an issue with escort, though. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be if you have safe sex, man. I mean, if they if they have a rubber. I mean, I know that that can possibly, I think, um, HPV will still get through that. But eh, it's not like hooking up is any safer. What, is the hookup culture going to be better than a whore? I don't know about that, Jack. Miluka says tool booth. Collapse Zelesti. You are looking thirsty. Care for a deep swig of oil. Every time. I should just skip his shit. It's worthless. Metal Doomer says libertarianism for the win. Exactly. Hungry and Hungover says STDs are a risk with non-hookers too. Yeah, so he gets it. Tim Andrews, legalizing all drugs is a pipe dream. Big Pharma would take over production and distribution, which means you have more taxation. They won't just let you have it, lol. We will if we kill enough of them. Miluka says, how do you feel about oil prices these days? Oh, they need to be lower. Andres Estrada says, what the fuck did I just walk into? Cuckold porn hookers and machine pistols. Welcome to the Tolstoy Show. You can't act like this is new. This ain't new. This ain't some kind of new shit. You know me. Sir Blumpkin says, at Hungry and Hungover, touche. Still, I think it's a higher risk to catch it. Don't quote me on that. Um, if it was more regulated and legal, I would not be opposed to it. That's what I'm talking about, fam. I'm not talking about, like, going to a woman, like... Going to a woman who has a fucking pimp, I hate pimps. They're a reminder that we're not free. Like, it should be a nice, safe club that has a lady who runs the whole thing, who's a mama bear, and she can keep a shot off underneath a... Wait, she should keep a shorty AA-12. That doesn't exist, but it exists in freedom land. And, um... You pay your money, and then you get to fuck a hooker! I'll make my own place with blackjack and hookers! I don't want to forget the other thing. Um, Lincoln says, we need rest. The spirit, we need rest. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is bruised and spongy. Zap Brannigan. Yep. Jeremy People says, I don't think smoking public service announcements help anybody at all. I, I disagree. I, I think that, like, a lot of fucking people, um, a lot of people don't smoke anymore because they, like, look, public health and people going to the gym and having gym memberships has never been higher. Nobody taxed us. Nobody forced us. Nobody regulated us into that. It just took time to get us to a safer, healthier place culturally. And now they're trying to close the gyms down because they want to proclaim that it's some weird biovirus, that have the evidence of which is not really all that convincing, if you ask me. Stephen Knight says, you start RE5 yet? I have not. I want to. Uh, my brother and I are probably going to play it together on the PlayStation 4 via the... The uh, the PlayStation Network, but to download it, I need some money in my account, and I am poor from the Glock purchase until tomorrow when I get paid, because I purchased two boxes in 9mm at $40 a box, $0.75 cents a bullet, $80 for the whole thing. What a deal! I can't wait till this fucking election is over. Either let the war commence, or let's just fucking go back to, to being normal, whatever normal means anymore, man. I swear. I swear, Jack. Tim Andrews says, Addiction isn't as simple as broken tribe syndrome. Plenty of affluent people suffer from it. Lots of evidence to support that it's a genetic trait. And then he says, I work in this field, if you remember. Yeah, so do I, though. 
I've worked with people. I've worked in a field that handles uh, uh, you know addiction and has people who we have to be on the lookout to see them developing the signs of addiction. And I, I partly agree there's a genetic component, but as one famous behavioral psychologist once said, when you ask the question, what contributes more to a, an organism's behavior, his biology or his upbringing, is like asking what contributes more to the um, the area of a room space, the length or the width. It's both times both. So, yeah, it's partly genetic, but, again, that genetic trait is probably influenced by environment, as all genetic traits are influenced by environment. If you live in a tribe that has lived in an area that is shit for genofucking rations, you are probably more likely to develop coping strategies wherever you can find them, and if one of them is doing drugs that makes you feel better, and it allows you to live long enough to not commit suicide to then survive and pass on your genes... And that's literally where where religion comes from. That's why I stopped being an atheist, because it's like, once you realize that biologically humans are predetermined to, to have some kind of faith, because those that have faith are more likely to pass on their genes, you realize that you can't fight evolution, and thus you can't fight God. Checkmate, atheists! Evolution predetermines that people are going to believe in God. Um, of their choosing, anyway. That's a really fun, cool name. Indra Therion says, At least you're not speaking German. Do you want me to speak German, Kevin? Tim Andrews says, uh, S.A. Oh, sexaholics can be anonymous. Porn addiction falls under sex addiction. Lots of weird shit in those meetings. I can only imagine. Stephen Knight says, You should try playing Wolfenstein the New Col Colossus. It's pretty based. Well, nothing more fun than brutalizing Nazis. And the story is Oscar-worthy. Yeah, uh, isn't that one that has leftist propaganda in it? There's one where there's three little girls who are running around Paris and being snap, snap girlfriend. Pass on that one. And there's the one that I thought was going to be amazing where it's a 1960s America and a bunch of hippies are like the resistance movement, but then they had a bunch of shit in there where there's like a 30-minute segment where the main character, B.J. Blazkowicz is, has a flashback to his dad who's evil and racist because he's white, like a man. I don't know if you know this, but being a white dude, I don't really want to hear weird leftist propaganda. That might be surprising, but I I don't want to have a section where I have to shoot a golden retriever because penis and white, as it turns out, I, I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> so, nah, they can keep their weird cuckold shit to themselves, man. Pass on that, dog. Uh, Andres Estrada says, um, I think it's a product of the fact that the guy are, wait, fact that the gay dudes are dudes. I have no idea what we're talking about now. Tim Andrew says, what do you think about the sh slow rise of pedo rights groups? Um, I think that the sales of rope is about to increase exponentially, so take out stock in good rope companies. Because, uh, um, god damn it, the weather looks fine. Why the fuck did I stay inside? I could have gone for a hike. It was them. They lied about the fucking weather, man. Um, yeah, man, that's how I know it's a coming. They are, they are attempting to normalize pedophilia because they want us not to boog when it hits the fan and it comes out that the majority of our leaders are involved in pet, satanic pedo cults. You're either a retard or you believe that. I just don't know what to say anymore. Like, I don't know how blatant it would have to be. This is some Mr. Potato Head. Did we all take our stupid pills this morning? Level of shit when you hear people who are just all like, no, that's just a conspiracy theory. No, there's just a bunch of documents that have never, from a website that has gone to tr trial with the federal government 11 times and has never been proven wrong, and this time says that there's a pedo conspiracy, but no, it's wrong this time. No. Like, are you retarded? Like, fuck. Yeah, man, and what's-his-face didn't kill his wife. Who's the dude of uh, the football? O.J. Simpson. Yeah, man, he's, he's totally innocent too, bro. Totally. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. Um, Lincoln says, um, with what we grab barbed wire bats, with that we grab barbed wire bats and a noose and a fall tree. Any problems? Hell no. Uh, Tim Andrews says, for reference, look up SB 145, which essentially potentially eliminates sex offender registration for a large majority of those freaks. Oh, yeah, I heard about that, how in Cal California they're trying to, like, essentially make pedophilia a soft crime. And it's like, what is this coming in apropos of? Has anyone asked for that? Has been, there have been like a lot of demonstrations where people have been like, we don't want pedophiles to get prosecuted. We don't want pedophiles to get prosecuted. Like, I don't think that's ever fucking happened. It's weird why that's all of a sudden getting brought up. It's fucking ridiculous and strange. 
Keep your rifle by your side. Fuck, man. And you know what's weird? I remember listening to, um... I was listening to the Far Cry 5 soundtrack. And, uh, you know, they had that song, Keep Your Rifle By Your Side. And there's a, there's a line in it where they said, um... They'll come at us day and night. They'll have our children in their sight. And I was all like, oh, teehee, that's so radicalized. That, that, that cult is very crazy to think things like that. That they're going to attack your children. It's very paranoid and very cult-like. How classic. Well, well written. Uh, and then a few days later, the Red Hat Boy incident happened. And all of a sudden, it, it just got real, real for me. And I was like, oh, my God, they're attacking our kids. Literally, there are people... They're, they're, it, it was a felony. It's a fucking felony. It's called not requesting a felony, not... It, Se sequester not it's like selecting a felony it's um essentially if you if you put on an ad in the paper that says you're asking for a hitman to kill your boss that is requesting you are selecting patronizing you're trying to buy a felony it is a felony it's a crime and all these blue check marks on twitter said you know if anyone try you know beats this kid or kills this kid i'll give them stuff i'll pay them i'll 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 pay them off, you know. Uh, country music star said I'll I'll sign my I'll sign my CD and send it to anyone who punches the kid. Well, congratulations, you were requesting a felony. No one got prosecuted. Wow, they didn't even get banned from Twitter. Wow, they they really will have our children in their sights. Wow, that's pretty fucking bizarre. I guess maybe it's time to keep keep your rifle by your side. Oh well, I really wish it didn't have to end like this. I'm just kidding. I hope it does. <laughs> Die. Um. Oh, fuck. Ultrapixel LP says, wait, what the hell? I randomly ended up here. Haven't watched your video since like 2009. How you doing, man? I'm alive. That's the shortened version of it. Andres Estrada says, um, I've been here since the Bioshock Big Daddy toy review. Yeah. Hungry and Hungover says, been here since the sword reviews. Ah. And Andres Estrada, Andres Estrada says, this guy is OG. Ultra Pixel LP says, I remember him asking me how to say hello, everybody, when I emailed him about his uh, Sega Nomad or Genesis. I forgot. Huh. Uh, Indra Therion says, Hebrew Bible, such morals. Hebrew Bible, such morals. Tim Andrew says, um, look up Baka Bazi. Huge practice in Afghanistan with no Quranical basis. All right, cool. Let's take a look. I'm guessing it's some sort of torture or or polygamy. Ah, marrying off of um, marrying off of uh, young children to uh, adult men. Ah, very good. Not even in the Quran. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy's people says, um, I've been here since your Airsoft gun reviews. Well, hopefully I can get you some real gun reviews now that I've transferred over to that. It's just, like I said, finding the time to, and also seeing if I can go to the range at a time where not everyone else will be there so I can, on the DL, get some re you know recording of me doing it. I don't really want to be that guy. Um, Andres Estrada says, um, fuck that, that's assault. Sorry about that, man. Tim Andrew says, um, lots of times a local cleric just says, yeah, I interpreted this from the scriptures, and they go with it. Yeah, I've heard stories about that. Kanon Young says, do you mind, you, yeah, you do, yeah, do mind explaining kind of what you do at your job? Sorry if I've already done that. No, we're not talking about my job. Um, Ultra Pixel LP says, Molly fucking kicks ass. I wouldn't know, but one day, soon. Tim Andrews says, DBT isn't psychotherapy, it's psychology, no meds. Also, if I were able to take anything, it would be psilocybin, way more effective than any psychoactive drug Big Pharma produces. Agreed. Bro, it's not hard to get your hands on it. It is legal to get the grow kit, it's just not legal to have the finished product. Consider. Uh, and I want to do the psilocybins, but I've recent, I, I, the last psychedelic incident that I had was bad, and uh, I'm gun, a little gun shy now. So maybe one day. We'll see. Uh, Tim Andrews says, I'll send you Kydex if you need a mag carrier for the Glock, dude. Fucking A, man. Yeah, hit me up on Facebook. Send that shit. Although, if it... We don't have time. We have into the third. That's when everything, I think, is gonna kick off. Fuck. 
I really don't actually want this right now, I, but I kind of do, but kind of don't. Ultra Pixel LP says, thoughts on the riots that happened a while back? Oh, they stopped? Because they're still going in Philadelphia. Which riots are we talking about? Andres Estrada says, you are Jimmy. Holy shit. I'm not Jimmy. My name's not Jimmy. What are you talking about? Uh, the, the NKUI, the Koi, Nkoi, says, From Minneapolis City was a literal war zone. Scary as shit, bro. But things cooled down a few days, and those neighborhoods got gentrified as fuck. Okay. Uh, Tim Andrews says, Leon Kennedy use a la uses a laser. Chris Redfield doesn't. Proof in the pudding there, sweetheart. Chris is equals alpha as fuck. Uh, I do have one anecdote about that that cracked me up. First of all, one day, if I ever get my chance to review it, I will review Resident Evil 6. It is one of the greatest games ever made in the sense that it is the most cracked out game I have ever played. Uh, and I, I wish I could go into detail about that, but I honestly don't even have the time. But I can tell you this. There's a scene where, yeah, there is the Alpha Chad Chris versus the Beta Virgin um, Leon. And it's like, they both come across like Ada Wong. And Ada Wong is like, ha ha, I betrayed you for the millionth time. And Leon has the gun drawn on her. And Leon points the gun and he's just like, ugh. But I can't because he still has a big crush on her. And like literally, I don't know if they did this for to be funny or if they didn't understand the context and what they were doing. But like Chris literally goes, gotcha, bro. And goes and just opens fire on her with an MP5. But of course, she does some like crazy anime backflip that causes her not to get hit. And um, the shit's just fucking crazy. I paused and laughed so f I've never laughed so hard in my goddamn life. That shit was fucking amazing. Um, Tim Andrews says, M9s are garbage. Stove pipe ejections every seven rounds. Terrible to take apart and clean. We hated them. There you fucking go. There you fucking go. And yet, every Hollywood action fig, action hero, has the M9. I hate it so goddamn much. Um, Steven Knight says, fuck the Beretta, lol. You had me at 5-7, though. Right on. There you I'm just saying, like, there are other goddamn options. Why is it every fucking video game? Every fucking movie. They're just like, have you heard of the M9? Have you seen the M9? 30-year-old gun, it's the M9. Now we've got another M9. And you know why they like it? Because it has an external hammer. They like it because the bad guy has to always be able to go, you son of a bitch, and, and thumb back the hammer. And I'm just like, it's a semi-automatic. Why, why do you need to do that? It's not a revolver. What tactical advantage are you getting from that? Was it not ready to roll before? Was that what you were saying? Were you really not ready to shoot someone before? Fucking Beretta is some weird Italian shit. I, I honestly think they were trying to make spaghetti with gun parts and they made a mistake. Sir Blumpkin says, you can also still get herpes even if you wear a condom. Basically, sex is a gamble either way. Well, monogamy would solve that problem, but, you know, that's boo. That's old people thinking. It's all poly. It's all good under the hood. I mean, no society previous to now has ever been able to have polygamy that hasn't quickly gotten flushed down the drain by more alpha societies that have monogamy that come in and fuck their shit. But, but, but you know, my personal happiness and my selfish, self-centered ways and my, my OnlyFans, you know? Feminism, guys, come on now. Get down with that, okay? Uh, Stephen Knight says, Tim Andrews isn't wrong. Chris Redfield is the alpha and the omega. God damn, everyone loves Chris. No love for Leon? Leon's super badass. What the fuck, guys? He's like my favorite character from that. I mean, Chris comes in a, a, a quick second, and then Claire is third. Claire is the waifu. Claire is definitely the waifu. Um, Hungry and Hungover says, bow and arrow is better than an M9. Okay, I don't know if I can argue with that. Accursed Farms says, happy to have coffee. Yep. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, that stretch, baby. Ooh, that stretch. That's a good stretch. I think we're probably... It's coming up on the two-hour mark. We're probably going to wrap it up real soon. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. It's 2.07. I guess I'll just try to read a bunch. Wear myself out. Wait for the Kratom hour. And then... Probably play some more RE3 remake. And then by tomorrow, I'll download the RE5. And replay that with my bro. I make him play the bitch because I want to be I want to be Chris Redfield. I want to be the giant refrigerator that someone placed a chia pet on top of. 
Um, and you all really commented it up. Nerd Room Collectible says, oh shit, I never asked, but Tolstoy, have you seen Taxi Driver? Yeah, I've watched that movie religiously over and over and over again. I think you really like it, but I found in it a very dark time in my life, and I felt a lot like the main character. Yeah, same here. His gun is my gun. That's my revolver, except for mine is a Gen 4, and I believe his would have been a Gen 2. 3. Might have been a Gen... No, his would have been a Gen 3, because it was the 70s. Miluga says, I voted... I'm just skipping that. It's going to be about oil. Tim Andrews says, best part about COVID, buying cheap gym equipment to fill my gym garage. No more waiting... Oh, stop fucking gloating about your gym garage! Stop it! We're all poor plebs here, goddammit. Hungry and Hungover says, one plus vote for the TKE Xmas special. Hopefully live stream. I missed the Christmas memories video you took down. It might have been aimed at kids. I can't keep it up, bro. Federal government tells us how morality works, but then keeps pedos alive. Weird. Uh, Tim Andrews says, it's theorized that it's partly genetic. The problem with equating likelihoods to addiction is that it disregards the affluent populace it affects who don't live in shit situations. Um... I mean, I know that that, like, one mayor who smoked crack uh, from Toronto. Oh, yeah, and also our mayor from D.C. who smoked crack. Dude, the, the mayor from Toronto, he was side, like, side, side, side swiped, whatever. He was, like, some reporter ran up and was like, sir, how do you feel about the fact that you smoked crack? And he was like, I never did that. And they showed him a video. They pulled it up on their fucking phones on YouTube, him smoking crack. And it's like, Toronto, like, this Toronto mayor was like, all right, so I smoke crack. What of it? And I'm like, God damn, dude. Balls out, bro. <laughs> Balls fucking out. Sir Blumpkin says, German? Question mark. Always thought Tolstoy was your run-of-the-mill leprechaun. Heh <laughs> Fuck you. Um, Tim Andrews says, media attention on pedo groups. Uh, SB145 out here has been super minimal. Dead silent. I know. Isn't that weird? Don't you think that, like, CNN would be talking about all the, the pedo cults that the, the feds have been breaking up and finding as of late? Weird that they haven't been talking about it. It's almost like there's an agenda or something. It's almost like you can't trust what the news says. But I know that can't be true. Evil blump. Um, uh, Nerd Room Collectible says, My plan is to move up the ladder to combat effectiveness. Essentially, I'm first mastering hand-to-hand, -hand, and then I'll fit to master extensions of the self, lay guns. Bro, you got a limited amount of time for the shit kicks off. I would get good with guns now. Hand-to-hand -hand don't matter, bro. It, this ain't the movies. It rarely comes to that. Uncle Pete says, wow, I came in at a good time. Did you, though? Sickle says, pedos to quote Pocahontas. Their savages, savages, barely, barely even human. We must sound the drums of war. Um, Tim Andrews says, get into BJJ and Kali, Filipino knife stick fighting. Been doing it for 10 years. Great stuff. Hmm. Uncle Pete says, first, saw your, uh, first video I saw of you was your Christmas showing what you got for Christmas. Jesus, that was a long time ago. Ultra Pixel LP says, The rioting and looting after the George Floyd incident. That didn't stop. It kept going. They just chose different reasons to be angry about. I'm trying to like read all these quick so I can get this done, man. My voice is starting to give out. Hungry and Hungover says, Shrooms were more intense than acid for me. Oh, see? Everyone was like, No, no, shrooms are more gentle than acid. Uh-huh. Okay. I literally saw every strand of fiber on my buddy's couch glow in a variety of colors, and then I fell into the universe for the next five hours. Pat, how much did you take? Um, Tim Nollett says, I'm glad you acknowledge Chris is the alpha. No, be like Chris and learn to use iron sights. I, I'm trying, but I fucked up. So, you know, any any tool that you can use to be better, man. I ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna fucking shame me out of getting cool... They got the rails on there for a reason. Why put the rails on there if you ain't supposed to put candy on there? Um, Stephen Knight says, I laughed so hard when you did the Trapped in the Closet parody about the M9. That shit made me drop my phone. Yeah, well, you know where I got that from. Originally, Weird Al did a parody of um, Trapped in the Closet called Trapped in the Drive-Thru. Was it like about him taking his wife to go to like get some fast food at the drive-thru? And he's like, we're approaching the drive-thru, coming up on the drive-thru. Here we are at the drive-thru, coming through on the drive-thru. Did I mention the drive-thru? Drive-thru, drive-thru. Here we are, cars in line of us, cars in back of us, all just waiting to order. There's some idiot in a Volvo with his bright song behind me. I lean out the window and I scream, hey, what you trying to do, blind me? And, like, I, I went into, like, Fayetteville's, like, the local military base town. I went there for, like, all their retail, um, their military supply shops. And I was just, like, looking for, like, AK mag holsters and, like, all they have is M4 shit. This is, um, this came with, um... 
old snake action figure that my boy Kenny got me. And it came with like an M4, man. And I swear to God, just all the material there. I'm just like going through it. And she's like, have you heard of the M4? Do you know about M4? All we have is the M4. 556 and the M4. Do not know about AK. All we got is the M4. And it's like, shut the fuck up. God, there are other guns besides the M4. You faggot. I can almost see blue skies outside. I'm pretty pissed off. Blue skies. Talking about blue skies. All I see. My fucking voice is giving out. <coughs> I just got the COVID. I got the Rona, baby. Um, Indra Therion says, Alphas have only one wife. Huh, lol. You know, I don't think that's true, but okay. Tim Andrews says, Yeah, have you ever been to Afghanistan? All betas with 11 wives. Well, I guess I'm going to Afghanistan, B. There ain't no God like Allah, apparently. Stephen Knight says, What kratom are you taking these days? Oh, Bali. Red vein, baby. Give me that sweet, um, there is no pain you are receding, my something distant ship smoke on the horizon, you are only coming through in waves, I saw your lips move but I can't hear what you're saying, I have become comfortably numb. Yeah, I'm doing way too much of that. And I was afraid it was cutting into my... My exercise routine. Now I realize it was the fact that I was fasting. Like, my last four-day-off weekend or whatever, um, I went to the gym and it was just dog shit. My lifts are terrible. And they're still terrible! But I'm not feeling sick. Like, I finished and I thought I was going to throw up. And I was like, this isn't fucking good. And I was like, is it because you're taking too much Kratom? Like, I've had Kratom hangovers before. But that was back when I first started doing Kratom and I had no idea that there was, like, a limit. So I was just like, oh, you can do, like, eight cups a night? All right! And that shit was fucking cash. Um, but I love the gym, and there's no way that I would ever let my 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 feel good tea get in the way of my athleticism. But thankfully, I did a pretty fair amount last night, and uh, with some with some kava 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 tea, cause you gotta get fucking oh yeah, baby, gotta get crunk. Um, and the workout was okay today. It's definitely it's the food. Definitely the food issue, but I'm I'm back to a lean 155. Like my little tum tum has gone down, so that's good. So that's, it's I consider that a successful cut, but I gotta figure out what's the right thing to do to bulk. I'm learning new things every day. That girl at the uh, at the gym who is insanely intelligent and the hottest thing I've ever seen, and she is Helen of Troy. I would burn a fucking city down to see her OnlyFans. Usually I don't simp, but this bitch something else. Oh. She only does ass exercises. I shit you not. She wears the leggings. Only does the big booty butt cheeks exercises. Damn, damn, damn. And uh, she was like, I, I went up to the counter and I was like, give me, I was like, how much scoops of protein powder are you allowed to put in that protein shake? I will pay extra. And she's like, you know, you can only absorb so much protein at a time. Your kidneys can't take it. And I was like, oh, really? She's like, yeah, it's like 30 grams. And I'm like, great. So all these fat ass... 1600 calorie steak sandwiches that I was eating because I was trying to bulk ain't doing no good for me I should be eating like a chicken breast and then wait 30 minutes then eat another chicken breast and like wait 30 minutes Jesus tap dancing Christ like there's so much to it everyone's like you just gotta go to the gym bro wrong there is so much fucking shit that you have to know and it's like do you know your macros do you do this shit do you do that shit bro i didn't buy a glock because i wanted shit to be fucking extrapolated and complex i i, I bought a glock because i want i bought an ak because i want shit to be fucking simple what do i do jim bros what do i do just well, tell me the product to buy and i'll buy it i'll suck your dick i just want to like eat a pill and get swole eat a pill Lift weights, get swole. I don't want to, like, make a bunch of chicken no more. I'm done with the meal prepping. I don't want the MCTs. I don't want the triglycerides. I don't want the uppers, the downers. You're going to own. You're going to own a, um, you're going to sit there owning a supplement stand, and you're going to tell me that you don't got any, you know, whiz bangers, you hooker dude, hooker don'ts. Like, I don't want that shit.
Stephen Knight says, you should do a live stream after you play RE5 tomorrow. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't fucking know. No, I'm probably going to do a live stream on, like, the election night, to be honest. See, the issue is we got to test out whether or not I'm allowed to appear in my final form if I'm uh, allowed to wear boog attire to the shindig. Because, uh, like I said earlier in the stream, I've been told if you if the algorithm detects you picking up a gun, they uh, it just shuts you down because it's, like, afraid that you're going to live stream some kind of horrible shit. Like being free or, or talking about anything that isn't communism. Tim Andrews says, um, I've heard the theory that Darwin... I'm... I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah. God, I'm starting to fucking lose it here. I've heard that... You fucking mosquito son of a bitch. Go someplace else. Fucking... Ugh. Get Agent Orange, you mosquito piece of shit. Uh, he says, I've heard the theory that Darwin proposed yes, but I find it to be a cuck excuse for not being able to settle down and maintain a healthy relationship. Indira Therion says, Not Darwin. Alpha males in nature have all the females. Okay, calm down, Jeff. Here's how this works. Yeah, that worked when we were fucking apes, but at a certain goddamn point, we evolved a higher thinking brain that allowed for, like, all of our prefrontal, prefrontal cortex is based on social mechanisms and communication and social cues and give and take because you're gonna die! Fucking... Goddamn buzzing shit in my ear. And I can give you several examples of the dissonance that occurs, but in my own brain. I, I stalked my ex recently, and I found out she's getting married, and I see that she has a kid at a wedlock. Whatever, I don't care. But the first, my first instinct in my guttural, you know, monkey primate brain was to go like, that's my territory. I should fuck her. That should be my kid. But then, like, my higher brain kicks in after, like, a quarter of a second and is like, were you going to take care of that bitch's kid? Did you want to be monogamous with her? Did you really want to be in a relationship with her? Be happy for her. She has a kid. You're happy for her. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, okay. But for a minute there, my monkey brain was just like, you know, like. So, yes, alphas get all the apes, ape, female apes, if you're a dirty, stingy, you know, knuckle-dragging ape. We're not apes. We're above that shit. We're the top of the fucking line. We walked on the goddamn moon. And we didn't get there... We didn't get there without using memes. And I've tried to explain this. There's a friend of mine whom I love dearly, and he is a, you know, he's a he's into the poly shit, and he thinks that when the boogaloo ensues that he's gonna be able to keep doing that shit. And we've had this conversation, and I'm like, bro, whatever group you end up with, like, one, the lone wolf dies, whatever group you end up with is not gonna do some Branch Davidian shit where... The one dude can fuck all the bitches. Yeah, I get that that's our natural inclination, but, like, we have a higher sentiment, and if you don't adhere to that, you're gonna get your shit curb stomped by tribes that do. Because I can tell you, a tribe where a, a, a polygamous tribe, there has never been a polygamous tribe that was an absolute beta shit. Like, you know, imagine, like, wh where, where are your guards gonna come from? Where are your dudes who will help you hunt? Like, what, what is their motivation to do so if you're fucking all the bitches and they don't get any pussy? There isn't any, which is why America is free-falling now. So, like I said before, if only... Hmm, it's weird. It's almost like in a decade, Europe is going to be Muslim. Eh, well, if only they weren't a little bunch of beta bitches. Mm. Oh, well. Mm, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. I ain't even mad. Um, Ultra Pixel LP says, um, got a, got called a super racist and white supremacist for calling looters clowns. <laughs> Tim Andrew says, that's not the case with all animals, my dude. Darwin proposed that men need to spread their seed to survive. That's a better analogy, lol. Actually, now I don't think I understand your argument. The, never mind. Hungry and Hungover says, six grams, most intense trip of my life. Total ego death and spiritual, only six grams. Actually, six grams is pretty tough, but I've literally heard of, like, sheet eaters that have been, like, ten grams. But who knows? They could have been bullshitting. Um, kind of how you said you saw God on acid. Psychedelics are unreal. I didn't see God. I felt God. I saw nothing. God just, like, took over my brain, took over my field of vision, and made it, like, his, um... His, like, chalkboard, and it was, like, a TED Talk, and he was, like, showing me all the symbolism of, like, infinite yin and yang and, and like, the infinity symbol and the birth of the universe. Really fucking intense. Um, Stephen Knight says, um, I bit into those buns. I could not believe. There you fucking go. I bit into those buns. I could not believe it. They forgot the onions. Fuck yeah. I used to play that for my family until they got real fucking tired of that shit, and they were just like, no more Weird Al. I was like, wait, but I'm not weirdo. Um, <laughs> I 
Indrian Therion says, Lol, if you think about it, so many problems in our society stem from good genetics not being produced enough. <laughs> and then Timothy Andrews says, Lol, what? Are we really talking about eugenics now? Fuck, bro. Um, Ava4 says, Looking good, Tolstoy. Hope you're doing well. Been watching since the plastic crap days. Much love from the Philippines. Hey, man, I'm reading about the fucking Philippines right now, man. Filipino gorillas helping the Americans. The 6th fucking Ranger Battalion rescuing those boys from the Bataan Death March and shit. Da -da -da -da. Bolo knives. All right, then. That's, that's all I know. Bolo knives in that place I, I don't know how to pronounce. I think it's called Canabantuan. Um... Devin Dude says, um, I hate that they try to apply the animal alpha shit to humans. There's so many ways for so many ways for pull the opposite sex as men. You can be a stereotypical chat or a poetry slinging type. Okay, but the issue is is that if you win women over with beta need, with with beta box, they're not gonna want to have your children. Now in the past, they were forced by social construct to have your kids. Women were not allowed to like just fuck a Chad and then pot it off and I'm sure they did they got away with it I'm sure murderers get away with it we never caught the Zodiac killer I mean I'm sure Ted Cruz still sweats bullets about it but <laughs> okay this is like devolving the whole chat is devolving into a horrible discussion about eugenics and it is two hours and five minutes in so I think it's about time to to get done I need I need to get some high quality H2O in my system so Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'm glad we could get through this one without having, uh, without me getting sloppy drunk. Coffee. Coffee. And soon Kratom. But, um, thanks for all your comments. It's been cool. Uh, I will probably broadcast again sometime within the next. I have, uh, this day and then five more days off from work. Because uh, I work like a fucking madman on fire. And, um, so I will probably do another one of these or maybe try to get some footage of me shooting the Glock with, uh, with the revolver. Revolver. And I'll get back to you guys. So, thanks for tuning in. I hope I don't have to erase this later for it being thought crime. All right, bye now.